Hello fellow survivors and welcome to another stalker video. This is the continuation of the stalker video called Mastering All Skills, which if you haven't seen, you're welcome to check out first, but you don't really have to have seen it to see this one. In this video, I'm going about looking for books because I'm basically trying to get all my skills to level five before the expansion hits. So if you're watching this after the expansion has come, you can see what it was like before and you can just join me on this journey. There's going to be lots of shooting, and I do mean lots and lots of shooting. At some point, I even take down a bearer with a revolver just to see <laughs> what happens. Because uh, I'm just going about looting and uh, grabbing as many books as I can, and then hunting everything I see in the meantime, just to level up the firearms skill. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Hello fellow survivors, we are back in the stalker run where you left me in the blizzard in Thompson's Crossing. Stalker, we're here to get all our skills to level 5 and it's going fairly well. Except that when I started this series, of course it was meant to be a slow episodic series, take my time. Now instead the expansion is coming out and it's all rather a race instead to get all our skills to level 5. So looking at our journal, we have some progression, except for fishing and archery and gunsmithing. But things are getting there, you know, it's, it's, it's getting there. So I've been taking it quite slow, so I'm going to change things up a little bit. And now it's going to become a book run. I'm going to go from place to place to place and try and get all the books and then bring them somewhere, read them and then level up. That's the idea, at least. Uh, with that being said, let me see. Uh, so in Pleasant Valley. I went there, and then I went barn, and then here's... I haven't been to Single Hill yet. Yeah. Sun's coming up. We are very heavy. And actually, as much as I would love to take all this stuff back, I don't think we need to. But let's see what I can dump. It's a blizzard outside, but that's okay. Uh, we don't need these extra socks. Um, well, they don't really weigh anything, but still, I'm going to leave them all here. Uh, what else is very heavy? We don't need extra hatchets, gonna leave that. We don't need extra of these. We don't need the flashlight. One of these we can dump. We don't need the extra revolver. Drop that, come back for it if I want. We don't need the extra tools either. See, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we don't need this. Actually a little bit too heavy still, but that's okay. We can carry, carry this back. So I'm gonna head back to the to the farm probably actually maybe we should go maybe we should go via single hill because then we can find some stuff take it down to the farm yeah maybe we should do that if i am going to do that though i should get rid of some stuff because i'm going to get heavy let's drop all of this and then that and what's my fire starting level almost three so we can probably drop three of these something uh one more of these there we go, okay. And then we're just gonna head to um, Signal Hill in the uh, in the storm, I think. Let's do that. You know. Yeah, why not? Have I been in the rural store, actually? I think I have been in the rural store. I have not been there. Oh, let's check the rural store quick. I'm not sure I've actually been in there. Let's see. I have definitely not been in here, so we need to have a look in here too. And I want food because then it prevents the need to hunt. So uh, I might as well grab this stuff. I'm going to get heavy doing it, but that's okay. There's some matches. These are practically guaranteed on every difficulty. I have a video about all the match spawns in the world, and this one's not on that list because it's not always there, but it's usually there. I think an interlope it's always there. Hey, we got a guns book. That's good, we need that. Food. More cardboard matches. We don't need that, but... Energy drink. We're gonna take all this stuff. Even if we don't need all of it. 
Uh, I am gonna actually. I do need this stuff for the gunpowder, so I need to go back and collect that. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, drink. I didn't grab another book. Cooking, nice. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Might just go back to the farm straight. Oh, sure, I don't think we need any of this stuff. No. I'm gonna check the other houses near here. We're gonna go from high loot location to high loot location. Oh wow, fisherman sweater. Let's see here. I already have one though, it seems. This sounds better. Drop that. Uh, now I'm heavy again, but not super heavy. Got some books. Load of, <laughs> load of food. I think we'll do. I'll actually head back to the farm first with this stuff. Dump some of it, and then I'll head to Single Hill. Checking here too. Ah, fishing tackle. Remember in the DLC. Check the visors. Now they do nothing, but in the DLC you can find stuff in there. Alright. So I need, uh, well, need a need. I want. This one. Yeah. I'm a bit heavy, but that's okay. Let's head back. So, let's brace this blizzard here. And head back to the farm. Running against the wind. It's not fun. The farm is going to be kind of like our main base, I think, most likely. Or we might have several bases, but for now the farm is the main base. I was going to dump all of my... Uh, gear that I don't need to level up skills. And then we'll keep looting from there. And I'm gonna head to HRV. I might head this more or less straight. Uh, we don't really need like misc loot anymore because we have everything. There's very little like misc things to be found now that I need. Don't even need to do hunting really. Look at how many matches there are. I could use a stim for the fun of it, but uh, no point. So in terms of clothing, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, other than finding a couch and sweater and maybe another pair of snow pants, there's not really anything to be found in terms of clothing. I also have all the guns and whatnot. Could find more ammo, sure. And food to keep me going. But no, I don't really need to loot all the misc things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, basically similar to Interloper where you go in in all the big uh, uh, loot locations. And I'm going to go from place to place with the intent of finding books. And if not books, then food to keep me going or things I can use to level up. So things like, you know, things to cook. Uh, or bullets or things for crafting that sort of stuff that's what we're going to do we don't need to loot the entire world and bring all the stuff back which is kind of what i'm doing now because we don't really need it this run has now gone from being a long-term survival run which also levels up all the skills to being a run where we're going to maximize all our skills to level five before the expansion hits it's possible you're watching this after the expansion hits, in which case I hope you still enjoy this. And uh, this is what it was like in the old days, you know, and all that stuff. <laughs> Originally, this uh, run was meant to be a run that I was going to release in episodes uh, in 2023, be a long survival run, but um, it's not going to be that anymore. In a few weeks, or a few months, uh, sorry, a few weeks, or at best a month from this recording. 
this run will be obsolete. So I'm taking the opportunity to finish it now. But first we gotta get home and out of this blizzard. Let's drink a coffee. I have so much coffee uh, that I mind using it. Normally I like saving coffee, especially on interlock. We use it for only certain situations. Because it's semi-rare. Here it's not so rare. There's loads of coffee. And also, uh, basically everything I have in this run is going to become obsolete. Uh, once the expansion for the Long Dark hits. So this is effectively the same as doing a challenge now. This is a challenge. Which will end when you complete it. And now I'm just gonna get home, reorganize myself, sleep a bit, then we're gonna start moving. And I'll collect books and I'll leave them in, in uh, key connection points so I can bring them back. And then we'll do reading sessions wherever necessary. And I'll do some shooting and stuff when I have to, because might as well. And instead of crafting the Moosehide Satchel, we're going to just go and grab the Moosehide Satchel in Hush River Valley. Might grab some stuff for the bow though, because we might need to craft the bow. Okay, here's, I think I can see the bridge up ahead. You can see the outline of the structure. Yeah. We don't need the mushrooms and stuff. Yet, at least. Okay, we're almost there. Welcome to Pleasant Valley. We found, they said. It's nice weather, they said. Didn't actually check all the cars for, for lead. Come on. Pleasant Valley can have notoriously long blizzards. This is the thing. I never sat down to measure it, so I don't know objectively if um, Pleasant Valley has longer blizzards than other places. But my impression is that it does. They do seem to appear more frequently or last longer. Um, and just like Blackrock and Bleak Inlet seem to have more frequent auroras. Presumably to compensate for the... Uh, the workshop. Jurassic Park rule. All right, let's uh, organize ourselves a bit here, sleep a bit, and move on. We don't need to do much hunting, but I'm still gonna do it, but that's just because I wanna level the, the firearm skill. All right, here we are. Now it's quieter as well. Let me see, can I actually refuel my lantern? Let's do that first. Do I have any lantern fuel? I don't think so. No. All right, let's do some uh, inventory management here. Okay, so I got some arrows, I got a bow. But we're gonna do bow hunting later. How much lantern fuel is in here? Not a lot, do I not have anything in here either? No, all right. Yeah, right, let's take this one then, because this one is uh, better than the one I have. Alright, let's see what I can dump here. So we can dump a few things. So books, let's grab the books first. I'm gonna keep all the books at the same place. I'm gonna keep, put all the books uh, in the fridge. Oh, is that a thing that I... In the freezer. I'll put all the books in the freezer. Gonna be needing those later. 
And food-wise, we have so much of it. Do I have any more I can leave here? Like, these things? So all the cans of food I can use to cook. Oops. Oh, there's coal. Okay, well. I did not know that, so... Been a, been a few weeks since I played on this, so I don't didn't remember all the details. There you go. Water is no problem. Okay, uh, then we have the fridge. So here, let's put whatever's heaviest. Let's look at all the teas. This is also for cooking later. We're gonna put that, that away. We'll keep those things. I think we'll keep all of this stuff, to be honest. Yeah. And then... <coughs> here we have our rifle, but we already have our rifle. The wood we can dr drop back down here. We'll drop that, and that, and this. Other than like two of them. Drop these two. And the book. Okay, let's sort out the rest of the MISC stuff. Uh, right, I left the flare shell. Yeah. <laughs> so I have an extra flare shell here. We don't really need it. Not really. Uh, we don't need these flares. We'll carry one though. Now, I would love to make a collection of loot, put all the world's loot in one place. I would love to do that, but unfortunately we don't have time for that. Because eventually it will become obsolete. We're going to put all of these matches in here. Except for like 12. This is fine. Uh, we'll keep all of this stuff. I'm not sure about this. We can, we can cook this later. We, actually, let's put that in here, because this is like a cooking thing. We'll put that in here. Uh, these, put that in there. The birch one we'll take with us. That's things to cook later. Uh, clothing, we're wearing all the best clothing. We need to repair things, but we don't need to do that right now. I could do it just for the sake of it, but... This we'll take with us. Here, uh, we'll leave this. We'll take one of those cleaning things. We'll take the rifle. We can leave the shell casings in here. One of these we can leave in here. The arrow is not meant to be here. The arrow is meant to be on the floor here. For later. There we are. And then... Uh, yeah, we can put all of this in there. We can put that in there. That in there. This. This is for crafting. Put that here. We will use it and go to Blackrock later. Okay, this is looking good. And we'll put this in here too. And this. And also your bandages. We don't need. We don't even need this because we have that old man's beard. There we are. Now things are looking better. Much, much better. I'm not sure we even need the can opener anymore. It's trying to travel a bit lighter. What else? Uh, I think that's probably it. Don't really need the crampons, but we'll take them. Yeah, I think that's... I think this is good. As far as I can see. Let's put a note. So, I have some books in the hut. PV farm. Main base, lots of misc tools, etc. Uh, lots of can and prep to cook. 6x uh, book, I think it was 6. Uh, bow plus 4 arrows. And then like 2x uh, like gunpowder stuff. Yeah, so I think that's that's actually it. 
Alright, let's uh, sleep a bit. We're gonna sleep here. Sleep like three hours. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna head to HRV to get the moose hide satchel. I could hunt the moose, of course, and get it that way. But it's not really necessary. Uh, I'll sleep one more hour. Uh, because we can just go grab it. Because we're on Stalker. On Stalker, you can find the moose hide satchel in HRV. So we're gonna make our way there. And in terms of loot, we don't really need anything because cooking is level f almost level four. Uh, and between the books and that, um, and also cooking this stuff and meat, and that, cooking level five should be easy. Uh, we, we, if we find ca the Cowagen sweater, that's great. Another pair of snow pants would be great, I suppose. Um, and that's about it, really. Other than that, we just need books. And maybe if I find more bullets and that sort of thing is great. There's more arrows to be found in HRV, for example. So we don't need to loot everything, for example. Let's have some drinks. And then we're going to make our way up to the signal hill. We might actually just climb the rope up there. And again, we'll check out the loot that's there. But for the most part, we're just going to grab the stuff we want. <coughs> and come back for later. Now the wind is with me. How nice. I'll probably climb the rope to get up there, actually, just because it's a bit faster. I very, very rarely use that rope, but this time I might do it. Look at that. Look, look at my temperature. I am, I am warm in a blizzard. I'm outdoors in a blizzard. It's uh, hailing down. By all means, I should be freezing to death. But no. Minus one. <laughs> because the clothing is plus 26 and it's late in the day and it's also early in the world it is going down though so it's uh, i am going to eventually get cold but okay i'm gonna head to basically the bear cave there is a rope that goes all the way up to Signal Hill, but you need to attach that rope, so it's not going to be there now. But there is a, another rope that's like a shortcut rope. That I would say most people don't use, but some people do. It's next to the bear cave, so if we run down here, we should get to some mushrooms and the bear cave. There's the mushrooms. More mushrooms, and down there here is the bear cave. This is a regular cave, but the bear can be in here. It can be one of his, uh, the spawns. It's not in here now because there's no, uh, there's no, what should we call it? Um, bones. But next to the cave over here is the, uh, the rope. Let's run a corner. I'm not going to pick up any more of these things because cooking should be fine. For the sake of it, we might as well just put this on. This is the rope. It go, leads up here to Signal Hill. Uh, I almost never use this rope because you can just go around and if you watch veteran streamers they also very rarely use this rope. Some do though um, because it's a very small rope but you don't really need it. You can instead uh, just go around over here and you go up a slope and then you come back down here. It's very, very easy. This saves you like a minute or two, but that's it. It's one of those ropes that are not pointless, but close to pointless. A bit like the ropes in Mystery Lake over the by Lake Overlook. You don't really need those ropes, but sometimes they are used. And let's get up here. Oh, minus nine. <laughs> so because I uh, very early went to the summit and got all of the best loot right away, clothing is no longer an issue uh, already this early. So everything is really easy now. I already have established all the best stuff there is, pretty much, with some exceptions. So we don't really need anything else. Just bits and bobs really 
This is a long blizzard. We are going to check out this tower here. See what loot we got. It's not super dark, but it's dark enough. Then we'll head to uh, Mystery Lake. If there's a book or something, I'm, I'm going to drop it in the cave to Mystery Lake so I can grab it easy next time. Very often there's a pry bar right here, by the way. Right here, there's very often a pry bar laying about. So if you're missing one, just look there. Okay. Alright, this place has really good loot, especially on lower difficulties, so keep an eye out. So let's see what we got here. We got a bullet. What are we going here? I'm still going to check stuff, I'm just not going to take everything. Well, this stuff will come nope, handy. thank you. I'll leave all there. I prefer not picking it up, uh, rather than picking it up and then a flare we can take though. And then uh, figuring it out later. We can do this though. Boots, I saw there. And then any bullets or something here? Stim. There's bullets. I'm not going to check the small, uh, these things, because uh, I'm only going to, f in these sort of things, I'm only going to find misc stuff. Like I might find coffee, might find some bullets or something. We're probably not going to find books. So if you see if I loot now, you just find yeah stuff like this. Like you'll find I'm I'm just looting now for the sake of it demonstration. So you find things like this, little bits of food, you know, book, Tinder, that sort of thing. Uh, but not not reading books. Uh, so checking all of these things like these, we're not really going to give me anything I need at this point. Normally I would le loot all, but we don't need it right now. Coffee will take, water will take. Uh, we can take the food because we'll be eating it. We don't need this other stuff. Uh, fire striker, that we can take. I think I can use this. And also sewing kit. Uh, we don't really need the herbal tea. Anything under here? Yep, we got our stim. That's great. Got that. Uh, we can take this. I'm not sure we need it though. But and on top of here we got another revolver. <laughs> we don't need it though. And cargo pants, which we also don't need. These are very often found here. Uh, if not, then it's like uh, well, these are very good, but they're too heavy. You'll find like uh, snow pants or combat pants there instead. So that's that's it. I think that's all right uh let's actually quickly see how much is in here 91 okay well in that case we're gonna switch them let's eat something uh let's eat something like these i'm actually gonna get rid of the cattails as many as i can i'm not technically heavy i'm just uh tired we're gonna sleep in the cave to the dam, though, I think. We're gonna go, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head to HRV to get the satchel, and we're gonna go through all the main loot areas. <clears throat> we got the, the blizzard in our back, which is great. Let's go to Hilltop Cave. I think there's usually a book there. Uh, we're going to go through it to HIV to get the satchel and we're going to go through the high-end loot locations uh, on the way for the most part. So we're going to go through the dam. I'm not going to check the entire dam, but a lot of it. Uh, and then I'm going to go to camp office and trappers and then through Milton. Check Greymother's house and all that stuff. And don't think I'll check every house though. And then we'll go into HIV and then on the way back, possibly go via Fall on Muskeg, we'll, we'll see. We're just gonna go looking for books, pretty much. And then we'll uh, do some hunting if we need to. Mostly, so if I see wolves, I'm gonna shoot them with the revolver. Speaking of wolves, they are out because the blizzard has ended. You can hear the wolf, wolf howls are back. Yeah, so they have spawned back in. Uh, I'm going to basically shoot anything I see. 
because it levels up the, the skill. I'm also going to check all the hunter's blinds because hunter's blinds can have uh, books in it. I'm not sure I'll shoot the bunnies. You know, we, we can do it for the fun of it, but we don't really need to shoot the bunnies. But, I mean, could do it for the fun of it. <laughs> uh, I know that some of you use my uh, videos to fall asleep to. And that's, of course, perfectly fine. I do the same with other content creators. And if you do that, I hope you, f you sleep well. And uh, I'm glad that my videos can bring you some relaxation. But just be warned that if you are planning on using this particular video for sl sleeping, uh, it could happen that you wake up because I shoot the weapon. So just be, just be wary of that. <laughs> Well, normally when I play Interloper, you won't get loud noises like that, you know, because um, you use the bow instead. Let's see if we got anything in this blind here. Uh, we have a book. That's good. Uh, we got one book. Okay. I'm just going to take the book with me then. Because if I leave it here in the entrance... Then uh, I'll always forget it, probably. All right, so here's the entrance to the winding river. I'm going to go through here, and we'll probably sleep in this cave. Uh, probably a full 12 hour sleep to get stamina back. Let's check out the unfortunate one. Who is this guy? Boots, which I don't need. So I was going to leave the books here, but because we, I only have one, I'm just going to take it with me. I'll just read it if I want to. There's coal in here, but we don't really need it. So I'm not going to really grab it. But there is some other stuff in here we can use. Gonna get tired very soon. So tired. There we are. Yeah. I'm gonna check out the atrium and sleep before I do anything else. This is a very good transition cave because you do get some coal in here. And the way I approach, I'm approaching this run is a little bit unusual because it was meant to be a kind of stalker walkthrough where I go through everything and take my time. But now it's not really that anymore. Hey, cool. What condition is this? 77, what's, what's mine? Okay, <laughs> the same. What we could do though is... Use this to sleep. But instead, now I'm going to just go through things. Uh, and loot to level up. I'm basically just speedrunning, leveling up all the skills now. That's more or less what I'm doing. As opposed to taking my time and hunting and establishing bases and looting everything. After the expansion hits, I'm likely to do that though. Do a proper stalker run. Oh, I did 10 hours, didn't I? Rather than... Well, than 12. I'm not used to clicking 12. I might do that in the future, but for now, I'm already super powered. I have everything I need, so it's just about finding the books and leveling up the skills. Uh, let's eat. Let's just keep eating these things. Uh, food is not going to be an issue, so... These will not give us food poisoning. Uh, even if it's low condition, they just don't give give food poisoning. There we go. Let's go to Winding River. Let's run. We're gonna do quite a bit of running. 
how much wood do I have? I have two in the night. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm not going to check any nook and cranny, but uh, I don't know all the book spawns or anything, particularly on, on lower difficulties. They can also be in like random places. It's things that way, I'm just going to check here quick. Uh, flare, which I don't need. Uh, oh, the person and the deer. Well, but there are places that tend to have books. So places that tend to have books is things like uh, landmark buildings, like you know, trappers, camp office, the farm, uh, the rural store. You know, those those big locations. While a regular house, a regular cabin, they don't always have uh, books. Uh, caves can have books. Hunters' blinds can have books. Uh, stuff like that. So I'm basically going to be checking those places out. <clears throat> I think the train carts can have books as well. Let's do this. The last thing we do is probably going to be the level of mending, archery and maybe gunsmithing. I do not think I'm going to be able to level all the skills in this particular video that you're watching right now. I don't know how long this video will be, but probably a few hours. <laughs> but I imagine that the first part of this stalker series is establishing the run, the part you've already seen. Uh, if you're watching this, I assume you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, you might want to check out how this ran run began with the previous video called Stalker Mastery and how I got all this gear in about 15 days. Basically, involved going to the summit right away. Uh, so part one in this series is to get all the early loot and get established and uh, getting ready. And then this video part two is going to be looting the world, finding all the important bits to get the skills to level five. And then I think there'll probably be a third video, which will be to, uh, to level up the skills finally, reading books or like doing the necessary activities to level up the rest, probably do lots of hunting and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, where are we going here, if anything? We got condensed milk, which we don't need, because you can't cook it. I can okay, don't need any of this stuff. I'm gonna sleep here an hour, get some daylight. So you can see a bit better. <laughs> Now, if you are in this area, when you go to the dam, I do recommend that you go up here on the right. So don't go back down the ice, go up here. Because up here there is uh, this maple. There's uh, usually a campfire, there's some mushrooms, there's woods, there's maple saplings, and sometimes mist glue too. So it's a bit hidden, but it's up here. There has mushrooms, more mushrooms. Here's the maple. Uh, I'm going to take it and leave it in the dam to cure. In case I need to make a bow here. And here's the... Okay, it's not a campfire this time. It's a person. He's got a knife. Fishing tackle. I'll take that for repairs. I'm going to leave the knife though. And the wood. And then you can just bunny hop down or you can take this route here. Go down this way. Oh, hello there. Let's uh, get some firearm level up here. Oh, he kind of bug. Actually, maybe you should map this while I'm at it. There's a trick to this. Very often the um, dam will not uh, show up on the cartographer. You have to stand like right at the base of it here. So if, you, if you're missing this area in Faithful Cartographer, stand here and then do this. And then see the icon will show up. That's just a good way. Did this guy die? Let's look on the map. It says wolf carcass on the map. Why does it say wolf carcass? That's weird. Mm -hmm. 
Not sure how many hits that was, but... That's weird that it says wolf carcass when there's no wolf carcass here. Oh. I could die wolf. Alright, let's head into the dam. Uh, I'll check all the lockers and I'll look around, but we don't really need anything. If I see a hammer, I'll grab it and leave it by the entrance. So anything that might be useful later in the run, I'm going to pick up and then I will dump it at the entrance to the dam and pick it up later. That's going to be the general philosophy of this run. And HIV, HIV, prepare yourself for that if you have not been there, if you're watching this to learn Stalker. Uh, well, I, I will try and explain everything I'm doing, of course, but it's a little bit of an unusual run, seeing as I'm kind of rushing things through to get things leveled up. But, uh, in any case, HIV is a place a lot of people really fear because it's difficult to navigate and there's, uh, you know, there's no landmarks. It's kind of hard to get your bearings in it. But HIV is actually a great region. There's so much loot there. We don't really need any of the loot as such because we already have really good gear. But if you spawn actually in HIV, it's one of the best spawns you can get because you'll get really good gear, like including air wraps right away. On lower difficulties, like Stalker and below, you can find a bow there. Uh, usually it's on several bows and arrows, uh, guns, even the moose carcass. I'm not going to check the secret loot around here. There's some secret loot in these containers. Well, not really, it's not guaranteed, but it's often there. <coughs> Alright, so here we have uh, flare. That's the cooking pot. I'll just take this and leave it. I'm not going to loot uh, these things, you know. I'm just going to leave because there's misc stuff in there. Uh, I will check this for coffee. No. Uh, check this for drinks. Heavy, yeah, that's fine. I will leave that stuff. Uh, sewing kit. There's a book there, that's nice. Shooting guy. We'll take the tools and dump it in the entrance for crafting. Basically, like regional supplies is where we'll be. MRE and a flare shell, okay. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. I'll also check this. Uh, at the bottom of the stairs, there'll be a couple of guaranteed items. There'll be a wool scarf and a torch. There's the wool scarf. We don't need that. I'll also check here for Haxel. And at the end of this place, there'll be a torch. It is, which I think is 100%, at least on this difficulty. This will come in handy. Oh no, it's not, it's 37. And I'm going to leave it then. And let's see here, we got this. I think these will just have food, so I'm not sure if it's really worth checking, but because I have too much food, if anything. Uh, check these things for random loot, like hammers and whatnot. Okay, and then let's check this desk over here. The bullet. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything here, really. No. Nope. I'm not going to check all the misc stuff, like the trash cans and that sort of thing. I'm going to leave that. I will, however, check this stuff. So there's just matches here on this metal uh, shelf right there. You can find matches. Let's check these lockers. Jeans. We don't need jeans. Don't need a book that we can't read. Nothing there. And sometimes there's broken arrows here on the door. And there is. Which might save us from uh I think I can use grab this. this. Making arrows, we'll see. And then here's a couple things. So we're gonna go up top first. There's a few lockers here. There can also be a stim up here. 
at the end here by this corpse. It can be a stim. And there's also uh, on that corner over there, there can be a fire striker. Let's have a look here. We got a flare and a can opener and a little bullet. We don't need any of these things. Ski jacket, how nice. I don't need it though. And then over here, let's see. At the corner here, there can be a fire striker. Let's see, we got bandage and sardines. We'll take the sardines then. And there can be tools here, which you don't need, but there can be tools here, which there's not. Let's head in here. There's a lot of misclute and skipping because there's so many like containers and drawers and stuff like that in the dam. We don't really need those things. I'll check the safe though. <clears> there <throat> can be something juicy in there. Right, here we are. Check the lockers. Windbreaker, which we don't need. Nothing in there. Who locks an empty locker, eh? If we have some stims, needs sewing kit, we'll take that. Uh, here we got a bullet. And let's check the shelves, because there's the stim. If you, a good way to learn these ones in this route is, is Hopeless Rescue. So the, the spawn chance of these stims is the same as in Hopeless Rescue. You can find it here. You can find it in the first aid kit, you can find it out here, you can find it uh, in the office next to this. Alright, let's also check the safe. Okay, it looks like it was like 9 or something. It was 8, okay, 8. 846, I think. Okay, 8.46. Yeah. We got flare shell and a rifle round. Okay. If you exit the game and load it again, the code will change. So you can't like learn the code and then go back in. It will just change when you come back in. You can also find a stim here, but not if you found this previous stim. You want to have both. Drink. I'm not going to open these things. Because even if I find coffee or whatever, I don't really need it. Yeah, we can find some misc stuff. Uh, not much here, though. Good leather, yeah, okay. I'm going to check upstairs. Because of the lockers, but then that will leave upstairs. We have another one of these. Jerry can as well. We got some misc loot here. We're gonna leave it all in the in the locker here. Well, this stuff will come in handy. All right. So this locker here. Let's put in everything we don't need. At the moment, the books. We're gonna leave some books here on the floor. No, actually, we'll leave them in the locker because then I'll I'll remember. I'll find it easier. So the books. I'm gonna take with us. I might actually take the wilderness kitchen book with me to level up cooking while I'm doing this. Uh, and then we have put this in here because it's a bit heavy. Uh, I want to take the highest condition with me. Uh, am I blind? Yeah. Okay, let's refuel that a bit. And then we'll also harvest these. Oh, I picked up both bedrolls. Whoops. <laughs> I've been going around with two bedrolls. <laughs> That's funny. We can drop this one then. We can also find books in the trailers. So we need to check the trailers too. Alright, so let's see it. Uh, we got uh, the arrowheads. I'm just going to leave both of these. Normally I don't do that, but I'm going to do it this time. Leave that. Leave all of these except one. Leave the tools. Uh, we'll take these with us because that's for later. 
then we'll take that book with us too. Uh, put that in there, and these in there, and this, and one of these. And also this. Let's put a note as well. So like... Uh, stuff in entrance locker. Three books. Tools. Uh, misc. Two maple saplings. Curing. Okay, I forget. <clears throat> Let's check here also. There might be some misc things. Uh, actually, I'm gonna drink some coffee, I think. Do I have coffee? No, then I should really make coffee. Because it will make looting a bit easier if I can uh, drink coffee and then keep going rather than sleeping all the time. We should maybe make some coffee. We'll grab the water here. Around here you can find some misc bullets as well. There we are. Uh, I don't see any misc bullets. I often they're just on the ground. Guess not. Uh, upstairs is not much to check. Uh, there's uh, loads and loads of drawers. But I'm only really going to check these things. Sweatshirt. Hey, air wrap. Any of these better? I don't think so. I'll leave the air wrap. Yeah, it's a backup. Could also carry it, I suppose. And then there's two in here. Check those. Sometimes you'll find coffee in here as well. Uh, doesn't seem like it today. We're not going to loot the rest. I don't recall finding books in those things. Uh, I think maybe you can find books in the drawers. But I can't be bothered to uh, to do that. Alright, there were a couple of misc things, wasn't it, that I picked up. It was the air wrap. Uh, so put that in there. I think that was pretty much it, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's check the trailers too. And it's a blizzard anyway, so Miles will sleep a bit then. Check this one first. Uh, there can be books laying about here. Septic. Nothing really. Depending on the wind, I'm tempted to use a stim just to get to the camp office. I might do that actually. Just to get there faster. Because I don't really need the stims for anything. Uh Boot. can take the water. Tools. I guess that's it. Flare, yeah. Beaches. How heavy am I? I am a little bit too heavy. Let's uh, eat something. Uh, let's eat this. Might get food poisoning. That's okay if I do. There we go. I just want to die. Oh, I don't have antibiotic. Interesting. I have this, though, don't I? There we go. And then, uh, well, we have food poisoning. What else is low condition? Mm. Like that, yeah. I'm getting tired. Yeah, these things. <laughs> Uh, 
could just sleep it off, but it'll be night time. That's ah, okay, actually. Let's just do it. Let's sleep for 10 hours. Get rid of the food poisoning. We can just start running out in the... Uh, in the night. Food poisoning healed. So that, as you can see, that was a minor inconvenience. <laughs> and getting rid of these things. There we go. We're gonna go out at night to get to the uh, camp office. I'll run there and we can sleep there again. Any moose around? I don't see moose markings. If I see a moose, I'll kill it because I can take the hide and I can leave it to cure. I don't necessarily need it, but I can leave it. <clears throat> don't see any saplings. We're gonna go this way because there's a hunter's blind here and the hunter's blind can have a book. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go, the route is gonna be via, from here uh, to Go from here to camp office, to the lookout tower, to the unnamed pond, to trappers, and then mountain town. I'm gonna look for anything we might need. There's a wolf that I'll probably have to kill. Two wolves. He's wounded. Let's check the hunter's blind. <coughs> one is afraid and one is... Uh... We have a crowbar. We have bullets. An arrow. Food. First aid kit. Nobody needs uh, that anymore. seems to be it. Where's the other wolf gone? Not sure where it went. Oh, I think that's the one that's... <laughs> Look at the scared rabbits. <laughs> they don't know what to do. I think this is... Uh, this is the one that's injured because he's, he's bleeding. <laughs> Terrifying all the rabbits. Run away, it's a wolf. I'm not gonna harvest the animals unless I kill a bear or a moose. Because then I could use that for like crafting later, but <clears throat> we don't really need any of it. If I need to level it up later, I will do that. For now we're gonna go place to place. We'll check out the fishing hut that's right over here. Uh, but we'll leave the rest of them though. Should definitely have enough shells to level this up and also craft stuff. But we need lead though. We need lead from cars. I haven't really found many uh, any of those. Do I have? Um, I have the hacksaw. Okay, good. Let's check out this fishing hut. We'll check the other ones out another time, if necessary. I'm just gonna check this one out. Don't see any wolves, so we can holster this. As you can see, just keep moving is a good tip, regardless uh, of difficulty. Let's see here, we got sewing kit, uh These don't tend to have much. I don't think they have books in them, not that I recall at least. Uh, So if you haven't seen it, I have a video on my channel called Survival Tips from Expert uh, Survivors, who are people that have played this game for thousands and thousands of hours. And uh, one of the tips is to keep moving. And that's true, especially with Interloper. On Interloper, you want to keep moving all the time. Don't get settled because you will run out of resources eventually. You need to instead keep moving from place to place to gather resources in order to create things 
that allows you to be sustainable, self-sustainable. On Stalker and below, you can stay in one place because there's quite a lot of loot and you can uh, use all of that to establish a base and maybe even find a rifle and hunt, that sort of thing. So you can stay for a while, but even on, on uh, Stalker, you can, as you can see, there is a lot of loot here. So there's really no problem to just keep moving. Uh, you're not gonna you're gonna be very safe by moving about because there's just so much loot in the world You can just go around from place to place see what stuff you find And then uh, go from there. I'm actually gonna grab this uh, Matches here's the maglens If it's not if you don't find a maglens here in this corner It can be instead over here behind these boxes here or upstairs uh, i'll show you upstairs as well let's just see here that's done we can take uh nothing really here i guess we can take this upstairs what we got trash can mark a okay. hey, book and another bedroll which we don't need I don't think these this have anything thing. useful for me, but I'll check. Nope. And if it's, if you don't find the maglens those two places, you can find it behind this crate, like over here, or under this bed, like here. So it'll be one of those four places. Uh, I'm actually going to make some coffees. Uh, so I'm going to make a fire just to have some coffee. Here. So let's just... Do that. Uh, accelerant. We don't need accelerant, do we? we? Use the fire starter. It's not a big deal. I just want to make some coffees because because I'm moving from place to place and I'm running a lot. It's just nicer just to have coffee, and I have so much coffee as well that I might as well just uh, use it. Okay, and uh, we're gonna put on one piece of coal. And then cook some coffee. I don't know which is the smallest of these. Make a difference. And then I have some of these two. Which we can just put here. Cook that. There we go. How much water do I have? Quite a bit. Let's keep making coffees. Grab that. Grab that. I'm going to do this until this burns out. Uh, and then that's it. So like two more, I guess. Yeah, ah, that's that's fine. How many of these do I have? Hey, we got cooking to level four. And I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think maybe you can't read the book when you're cooking level four. Can you? Oh, no, you can, okay. There must be something. I think it's a shooting one I'm thinking of. Right, we're going to sleep a little bit. Let's just uh, eat whatever's heavy. Eat this. Okay. <laughs> uh, we can also uh, sharpen this a bit. Not a big deal, though. I think that's fine. And then we can sleep. Oh, we got an Aurora, actually. Huh. In that case, let's try reading this. Okay, you can read it, so that's interesting. One hour is enough. 
Then we're gonna have we'll drink one of these. And we'll have this a regular drink. And we'll sleep for whatever that is, seven hours, I think is that. And we'll head to the lookout tower. Uh, actually, we'll check the derailment on the way to Lookout Tower because I think you can find a book in that cart. But yeah, there we are. Let's have a... Uh, we'll drink or eat these rather because they also give hydration. Yeah. And we can drop the extra can. There we are. All right. We're not going to leave anything here other than the stuff we just picked up. Just, uh, yeah. There's going to be a loot extravaganza. That should be the name of this episode, loot extravaganza. Could also check up here. Uh, I think I'll do that on the way back. I'll check, like, oh, look, on the way back. Let's check the railment. And uh, then the tower. We're going to check out unnamed pond. usually some wolves here. Let's be careful with that. And let's also drink a coffee. The coffee does not affect how quickly you regenerate your sprint. It just uh, reduces your stamina loss. So like when you sprint and you walk and do stuff, you lose less fatigue. That's what happens. But you also gain some fatigue. In fact, coffee is the only item in the game that basically restores uh, all four or all five things in the game at once. If you drink a hot coffee, you gain warmth, you gain fatigue, you gain hydration, and you gain calories. And in effect, you then start healing. So it's a really powerful thing, coffee. We do have bullets. Uh, we might as well check these things. Food that's small, I can just take. Yeah, don't need that. Let's also check the first aid kit over here. And also we can grab the feathers. And we can check this guy. Nothing on there. We don't need that. Okay. I'm seeing as I'm standing here, we'll take this. Uh, actually, let's take that. No stims or books there. I'm gonna head up to the lookout tower. Should be up here. There we go. And see what we got up here. I still. Not sure if I found a hammer, actually. Have I found a hammer? I uh, must have found a hammer and put it in the farm. I didn't actually look if there was a hammer. I think I did have a hammer that I left behind the farm. But if I find a hammer here, though, I will leave it somewhere and take it to the forge. Because we might need to forge some arrowheads. Um, just to level up archery a bit faster. It's not strictly necessary, but it helps a little bit. Because you level up archery by making arrows as well, not just shooting arrows or reading books, but making them count. So uh, you can level, you can actually level up archery quite far without ever firing the bow. In theory, you could get to archery level five without ever firing the bow. <laughs> um, because I have managed to get like revolver to level five without ever firing a revolver. So then. It should be possible to do the same with the bow, and then do the uh, the the books and crafting to get the, to the end. All right, let's see. We have can opener, sewing kit, which I'll take. I guess we'll take the cleaning kit. Uh, bullets. Hey, we do have a book. Fire starting. Fire starting though is pretty easy. If we need to level fire starting, uh, we can cheese it. 
because fire starting we can just uh you can just make a whole bunch of fires i can just go around grabbing a bunch of sticks make a fire then make another fire and repeat and eventually we'll get to level five so fire starting is not a priority it's fairly easy to get fire starting to level five cooking also if you decide to cheese things we can uh get cooking to level five pretty easily all right let's head down down the pond very nice day today I don't think we need to check the tower, although there might be a book there, but we might check it later. If I see the bear, I'll probably try and kill the bear, only to get the hide and leave it to cure somewhere. There's a wolf. <clears throat> yeah, the wolfy. Oh, there's two wolves. That wolf got hit three times. And he still didn't die. That is one sturdy wolf. I can pick these up while reloading. That's interesting. Alright. That was uh, unexpected that the wolf would survive that. <laughs> Take this coal. Drink another coffee, because fatigue reduction has been removed. And off we go. the bear around. Don't see the bear. Could be by trappers. We don't really need hides at all because uh, the clothing I have already is already more than good enough. But it might still be worth collecting the hides just to craft stuff. And then use it to be for repairs. Um, for example. Or we can just do it for the meat. Technically though we don't really need it. Mostly I'm hunting. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah, let's see. Hey we got a book. Archery book. Mostly I am hunting the, the bears and moose and whatnot. To level up shooting. I don't really need it for anything. We'll take these for arrows, should we need it. We'll leave them in trappers. Things we're coming back for, we'll leave in trappers, probably. I'm not sure we'll take the same way back, but that's alright. You can also come back here and craft arrows, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're not going to look for the prepper cache. Uh, the, the prepper cache is somewhere here in Misty Lake and somewhere in Pleasant Valley. But it's unlikely I really need anything there. If I find a food one, it doesn't really do anything. I don't think there's books in those things. M maybe there is, but I'm not sure. But uh, the weapon cache would be decent. But other than the weapon cache, I don't really need anything. So I'm not going to go around looking for it. If this was a... Uh, it was not a run that's about to become obsolete, I would probably do it. But since this run is about to become obsolete, because of the expansion, I'm not going to linger about. This time was a one shot. So because I started out this run with the intent of making small episodes where I <clears throat> just play it casually and slow, conquer the world, region by region, loot, move on, master stuff, and explain as a tutorial as well. Uh, that was the idea, but then when expansion hit and they said we were losing all of our stuff, then that kind of went out the window. 
So I'm not going to have time to finish this run the normal way because it just isn't enough time. So instead, we're going to do a kind of speed run of getting all the skills to level five. And that includes hunting this moose just to level up the shooting skill. Got staggered. See so on on Stalker and below, it's so much easier to hunt the moose because of the uh, the rifle allows for so much more range than an interloper. We're gonna grab this and these. Because then we can leave those here for curing. We don't really need the rest of the stuff. We're going to leave these here in Trapper's Cabin. It's very wasteful to kill a moose and not... Uh, not harvest it. <laughs> but that's what we're going to do. Because... Um, we don't need it. Not, not for what I'm doing. If this was a normal run... Where... I wanted to just play it normally, then I would now stop here, I would cook everything, establish a base, and so on. But because now the mentality has changed a bit, I know that in a few weeks or so, this run is over no matter what, because of the, the expansion. So because of that, I'm just going to level the skills, and I'm doing some harvesting and some other stuff. But for the most part, uh, I'm going to just level things up. Uh, we can leave books here, but I'm a bit worried that I might not come back this way. I'll just leave this here. Uh, so I think we'll take them with us. Let's look around here if there's any books or anything or anything else useful. Uh, take the food, I guess. I'm going to check those. Uh, Bullets, cooking. <clears throat> Bullets. Okay, and then here. What we got in here? It looks like we had like seven or something. I can carry much more. Seven and wow. Seven and ten. All right. Oh, wow. Seven, ten, seventeen. Seven sixty. Flare shell MRE. Okay. Anything else to drop here? Uh, would be the books, I suppose. I already have a mag lens, it seems. We can drop one of those. We have two fire strikers. That's all right. A lot of stims. Let's eat this. And we don't need that. We don't need the stone, not really. A lot of sewing kits. <laughs> uh, hmm. I will see. I uh, will keep this on us for now, I think. Let's put a note here. No trappers. Moose hide. Ten guts. Five birch saplings. Curing. Alright. And then that's it. Move on from there. Uh, I might leave something else here, I suppose. Is there something heavy I can... We could just read this, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. No, I might do that later, not, not right now. Okay. Let's see if we got some more feathers here. We do have some feathers.
And I can be a little experiment, see how long it takes to respawn. Then we're gonna head into Milton. The first is checking feathers. Yeah. Why are there no feathers? That's weird. All right. Well, I might take a little break and read these books so I don't carry them around. I might go to this uh, cave that is uh, here in in Milton and read some of the books there and then dump them. So then I'll get rid of like two kilos, and the skills will go up as well. We have a lot of resources uh, that I can just eat and get rid of. So I think that's an idea actually. It makes it easier to climb the rope back up as well. Especially until we find the moose hide satchel which allows us to carry more stuff. Because for a run like this where I'm now going about is trying to find more stuff and more books which are heavy. We need to carry stuff so the moose hide satchel is important. I'm going to grab these, but uh, there was a fur one there too, but the reason I'm grabbing it is I might make a fire to read over the fire. Not so much for warmth, just for light. I'm not going to drink another coffee now because I know I'm probably going to do some reading. Hey, look at that, a book in a cave, <laughs> just waiting for me. <laughs> like, hey, Osaka, you'll need this. Thank you. I do need this. How nice of you to leave that behind. Thank you so much, stranger. Maybe that was from the trader. It's like, oh, Osaka's gonna need this. Onwards we go. I'm just going to grab this coal, just for the light source. There we go. Get rid of this. <clears throat> and then we're going to take the shortcut down to the little climbing area. But we're not going to climb up from that area until after we've done a little reading session. Just get rid of some, some weight. So we can read some books. Get rid of the weight of the books. Uh, I can also um, eat some food while doing all this. So when I'm done, hopefully it'll be like three kilos lighter or something like that. I'm not gonna pick up any cattails or anything because we have plenty of supplies. So I don't really need any of it. Here we are at the waterfall. Very loud. But then waterfalls are loud in, in real life. And here there's a rope to climb down. Uh, it's over there, you can see the rope anchor over there. That's how you normally get down. We're too heavy to get down though, but we could easily just billy go down there. It's very easy to just go down there. Another way to go is just go this way. Let's go around here. La la la. And then you're down. There we go. But even if you fell off this log, the log that you have to cross, even if you fell off that, you still would be okay. There is a wolf here, so let's see if I can kill this wolf first. But then I know he won't be bothering me in the cave. Let's see. I don't see the wolf. I thought I heard the wolf though. Let's try something. Okay, the wolf may not be there right now then. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 
In here, there's guaranteed matches on this person here. He will have matches on him. Or maybe it was in the backpack, not the person. There we are, it was the backpack, my bad. And we got some food, we got a campfire, wood. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a little rest uh, stop here. And we're gonna read some of these books to get them out of our inventory so we can be a bit lighter. So I'm just gonna do that. Start with this and read that. And I'll read for as long as we can. So that's done. Next we have fire starting and firearms. I think we'll do fire starting first. Then we can get rid of tinder as well. You can probably only read for like two hours and then it's going to be dark. Yeah. So let's now uh, <coughs> eat something. Do I have this? Yeah, let's eat that. Get rid of that. I'm gonna eat stuff that gives me hydration. Uh, drink almost anything about now. We can get rid of some stuff for at it. Calories and hydration. Nice. And also these, yeah. Okay. And then I think we are going to make a fire. Which we'll just make here. Uh, we're going to do it on the outside though. There's 17. You can check that I'm already warm, so 25. Okay, so. Doesn't really make a difference really. But we'll put it, uh, we'll put it here. Over here. Not the birch, but that. And we can make some coffee, but the problem is the coffee takes so short a time to make that it's going to burn while I do this. So, if an aurora happens, uh, you can read. I think you, I think you can actually also read. Uh, if it's a clear, starry night, I think you can also read then. I'm not sure though, but you can map at least. I don't really spend much time during the night, except for in my endless, uh, uh, endless night run. Perfect. There we go. And then we'll do. I'll put these two on. And how are we doing with? What was I gonna do? Water. We have some. We might as well make some, and I can leave it behind if I need to. So let's just make some water. Don't think this will vaporize in an hour. Let's continue reading our fire starting skill. I need to find a place to rest. Does it? Uh... Five minutes. All right. Let's repeat this. Read another hour. Drink a coffee. Just so we can keep reading a bit. And then we'll just do it until we're tired. And then we'll sleep until it's morning and repeat. I'm gonna need to <clears throat> we don't need all this water, I'm just making it for sacred. There we are, fire starting level 3. Which means we can now get rid of the tinder. We don't need that anymore. That's done. Let's read this as well. And the fire is burning out. And that's all right. I think we can just sleep now. Let's just go inside here. And we'll... We'll sleep until it's light. So that would be... Uh, why can't I... Oh God. Back here then. Yeah. Uh, probably like five hours. Let's put six hours for the sake of it. And we'll just keep reading. I'll get rid of some of these books. Okay. Let's also eat. 
It's only gives us hydration. These can give us food poisoning. Uh, it's unlikely. It's like 3% chance or something. But it can happen. Okay. Then we're going to read some more. Let's continue reading this. There we go. Uh, we'll have another water drink. And let's keep reading some more. We'll do... Uh, we'll do the small arms book. We should level us up, I think, maybe. Does it level us? Or is it just barely? It's just under. It's just under. Okay. Let's eat some more stuff that gives us hydration as well. This. Oh, great. I got food poisoning. Okay, well then we need to change the plan because I am going to uh, suffocate from that pretty much. I don't have... Yeah, I do have antibiotics. I'm also use it. I can't uh, read the books while, while that's happening. I was going to sleep off the uh, food poisoning. I could have eaten some more low-quality stuff, I suppose. Pick that up. And we can start another fire. I'll just keep reading, really. Let's eat... Uh, Let's eat this MRE. Weighs a lot. We get food poisoning again, I'll just sleep again. There we are. Let's start a fire again. We don't need um, Tinder anymore. And I have enough water, so I, I don't think I'll make any water this time. We're just going to use it for light. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. And we can, like, put this on, for example, that. We put that on. Put that on. I just like some of these. Four hours, sure. Then I'll read this. Read the archery book. Didn't even need it that long. There we go. And there we are. And we can just drop this here. So let's do some inventory management now then. So now... Okay, we need to eat or drink something. Let's eat these ones. It doesn't matter if I get food poisoning. I'll just sleep again. Have some water and then we will just sleep until we are fully rested so that's three hours slightly cold there but that's okay okay and we're still heavy so let's just see here uh, yeah I don't need this coal what one one I can carry one yeah uh, there's so much like misc food let's, let's uh, drop this I don't want to get food poisoning again I guess let's harvest this let's create the uh, fishing tackle And I guess that's it. We have two of these we don't need. And I guess that is it. We could do some quick repairs here while we wait uh, for this blizzard. Just to keep these in top condition. We might be able to get rid of some misc items as well.
Uh, that's fine. And then this one. Okay, and then also polish this stuff. I could just pick up new ones I find, but might as well do this. Keep things sharp. I think the blizzard ended. Okay, and also this. Is there uh, one more? And there we go. I think we'll just leave with this. All right, we're not far from HRV. We're not gonna loot all of Milton, that will be a bit much. But I will loot some of the major places, like I'll loot the... <coughs> Grey Mother's house, the bank, uh, the post office. I don't think I'll loot uh, an orchestra station, the church, trailer. Uh, we could maybe loot the plane crash on the way back. There's a stim there on Interloper, but on this difficulty, I'm not so sure. But I could, uh, I can't remember what there is on this difficulty there. And of course, we'll probably do the farm on the way back too. But the stuff I left in trappers is not something we really need other than saplings, but that we can come back to that. Let's just uh, get some uh, stamina back here. Up we go. And then we are in Milton. I should really stop picking up food because I have so much of it in my inventory. Let's check out this um, little <clears throat> like ranger office or whatever this is. And bedroll. I think we found enough bedrolls. I'm gonna say, oh, I know that I have another hunting rifle. Oh, cool. We'll leave it though. We don't. We don't need it. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. No. Okay. Take the bullets, that's it. Let's head into the Orca station. Then we can start looting Milton from there. It's usually through wolves around here too, which we'll just shoot in the face with this. And I need to check the cars to see if they have batteries. Because then I can harvest those batteries for lead, which is a little bit heavy, but uh, then I can take him to either Bleak Inlet or, or Black Rock. Creepy. So let's go inside here. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm gonna start picking up food because I have so much of it. <laughs> we'll loot these things. There isn't really much in these, but I could find snow pants or uh, the couch and sweater and that sort of stuff randomly. Hope nobody needs this. Uh, I guess we'll take it. Socks. I think you can maybe find books inside those things, but it's not very much of it. We have enough water. Revolver ammo. Antibiotics. Uh, we've gotten food poisoning a couple of times, so might as well grab it. Uh, and then here, there's coffee. Uh, a bunch of spray stuff. There's food here, which we don't really need. Pick this stuff. Uh, more food. We'll take this stumper thing. Bullets. Uh, 
These are very easy to miss, these ones. On my interloper run, I missed these until like day 900 or something. I just happened across them. It's like, oh yeah, they're very easy to miss. It's pretty much the best food in the game, these ones, because they give 600 calories and weigh 0.1. So if you carry 10 of these, you know, it's 6,000 calories and you're carrying one kilo of it. Even MREs, if you look at it, like if you have two of these, it's also uh, two kilos, but it gives you or whatever that is, three and a half thousand. So it's like half as efficient. Gives you some hydration as well, of course. So these are just insane. Uh, yeah, energy drink, I'll take that. I haven't used many of them so far, but I guess that's it, really. The storm lantern there, which I don't really need. Yeah, we're not going to pick up anything else. I am going to check the cars outside, though. Let's have a look at that. We don't need anything in the cars, but I want to see if they have batteries. The lead. Uh, wasn't there another car? Or was it just one? I guess it was just one. But there's more cars in here. Uh, I'm not going to check all the little houses. I can't be bothered. If I am uh, missing some skills and I need to go certain places, I might drop by again and have a look around and play like regularly. But for now, I'm just going to go to the <coughs> the main loot locations. Bring the roller out. Now normally I would uh, keep my distress pistol because it's just better and faster. But I'm not doing that here because it doesn't level anything. Could check the boot, I suppose. I didn't really do that with the other car, but... Eh, Painkillers. Actually, that one is a lot as well. This is also great food. Okay, nothing there. Just a quick look inside. Nothing really. How about here? Yeah. Wolves are out. Battery? No battery. I'm just, yeah. I'm not gonna check all this stuff. Uh, I can have a very quick look in here, but I don't think it's really necessary. Hey, battery. Okay, change of plan. Then we're going in here. Because the batteries are extremely heavy. They are 15 kilos. But if you break them down, the scrap lead, they change to, I think, three kilos. I think it's three. Oh, one and a half, even better. And here, I um, don't really need anything here. We can have a very quick look around. Uh, boots, yeah. Uh, nothing really here. And to be off ticks, I guess. Yeah, no, we don't need anything here. We can maybe eat something. Uh, I'll sort it out after. That's one car at least with some stuff. What about here? Another battery, nice. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. And let's break that down too. <laughs> Get some more so to make bullets. Uh, let's eat stuff. Let's just eat whatever's low condition of these things, not the sardines. Because actually, we can just drop. Look at that. Okay. And one of these. And then the water. <coughs> I might get the moose side satchel, it makes things easier. Okay. Uh, then we're going to check the post office and the bank and Grey Mother's house. We'll check the rest of the cars too, just for lead. Uh, let's have a look around here. Uh, not much. Maglens. Don't need. Don't see anything else. Okay. 
Also, it usually doesn't have much going for it. Let's check out this car. Another battery, nice. I'm not gonna be able Milton is the place for batteries, eh? You can make more bullets that way. We need charcoal also, but that's that's easy for easy to get. We'll check here first the uh, bank. Then we're going to Grey Mother's after. And we can leave some stuff there if necessary. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's actually get this out because it's a bit dark. Uh, we might as well check this. Well, this stuff will come in oh. handy. Uh, one argument for grabbing clothing is that I could use it for repairs. So I could just grab all the clothing that I want and then repair it later just to level it up. So that's one thing I could do. But I think I'll do that later when I get to that stage where I really do need to make more stuff. Uh... This will come in handy. Check out this as well. Uh, we can take these teas. Coffee. Drink. Uh, and here. Uh, not really any point in opening these. They don't really have much in it. You know. They, so, let's leave these. I will check this though. Do we have small numbers again? I guess not. Looked like it was 25 or some such. Seven. Be 35, I think that was. Seven thirty five and don't really need the lantern for this. Yay, money. MRE. Okay. I have had people uh, comment on my videos and ask me uh, how to open the saves because um, some people weren't aware of the general like back and forth thing. So how most saves work, so you turn one way and then you turn the other. And some people were really stuck on things like story mode and things like, how, <laughs> why am I not opening the safe? And of course you have to turn it one way, then the other way. And that wasn't really apparent to everyone. I guess it depends on whether you've ever had experience with a safe uh, or not. Um, and that's one of the things the game didn't actually tell you in, um, in story mode. Where's the matches? There should always be matches here. On the table? This is this guaranteed matches here somewhere. Hmm. Well, grab this. I'll leave the rest. Uh, have a look around here. Okay. If we ever need cloth for repairs, we can just come back here. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. But first, check this. Be cool sweater. We have fisherman sweater, so we don't need that. I think there's anything we can check the bathtub though but if you ever look uh, looking for thermal underwear and you can't find it, I'll take it check the bathtubs there's very often them lying around there especially on interlope you might struggle to find it we have these two red ones but just go and check the bath bathtub then we have our secret uh room thingy let's see what we got behind here 
Looks like we have... Delerant. I'll probably just use these next time I light a fire. Other than that, we haven't really found anything here. I'll check this as well. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, alright, we're gonna sleep here then. Let's, uh... Let's eat stuff that has low condition. I eat this. Uh, these don't give food poisoning. I think this can, and this can too. And then we can just have water. <coughs> a bit heavy, but that's alright. Uh, we could actually use the cloth we picked up. We picked up some cloth. We could just use it to repair something. Before it gets dark, use the cloth, level up mending skill a little bit. Like that. Uh, we don't have cured leather to repair that. We can repair this, why not? And well, again, I don't think it's... Okay, it's too dark. Right. Sleep 12 hours. Get the uh, fatigue fully back. There we go. And let's just eat this. Did I have any drinks? I did. Drink. Have this one too. And just have some regular water as well. So let's see, is there anything I can dump here in... I don't think actually I'm going to dump it here in... Grey Mothers, I'm going to dump it in the church up the road. Because I'm going to have to go back there. No, actually, that's not true. I'm going to come back via the plane crash. I will drop some stuff on the floor here that I can come back to. So drop that. Drop that. Uh, well, we'll just put this here and we'll come back for it if necessary. Um, yeah, whatever. Just to get a little bit more space. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? Everything helps. These things, I need to start using them. This is a bit dumb that I'm carrying them around, really. Uh, uh, okay, so we're a bit lighter now. Let's just put MT Grey Mother. Misc stuff to pick up going home. All right. <clears throat> hey, now let's head towards the uh, <clears throat> move sites. Actually, let's check these cars first. If they have more batteries, then uh, I'll do that first. If this one does have one, barely walked with this much gear. Best to go inside the car to do that. <laughs> The wolf here. There he is. <laughs> Let's drop the uh, hey level four firearm. Let's drop the stuff here. The the lead I found. No point carrying it with me. Let's see what the firearm level 5 did. Level five, 4, sorry. Because, uh, of course, I play on interlope most of the time, so I don't really study these things. For the most part, I don't really know exactly what happens with all of these, because most of the, the skills just do incremental improvements of what you're doing. But there are certain landmarks that are important. Like, for example, cooking level 3 is important, because then you don't lose calories smashing open cans. And cooking level 5 is important, because you don't get food poisoning or parasites. Fire starting level 3 is important, because now you don't need tinder. Archery level 5 is important, because now you can uh, crouch and fire. And that's about it. Uh, the other ones just improve things and allow you to do things more efficiently or they unlock things a bit easier or do things faster 
so they they do help but they don't really they aren't as essential what does this do aim assist so we have some minor aim assists now how nice struggle effectiveness that's cool yeah because you can shoot the wolf while in struggle which is interesting uh recoil is reduced and we repair it better okay that's good to know all right let's get back to it check these cars as well nothing there I can check all these small houses. Another wolf. Keep them away and uh, level this thing up. I don't need to house them because I don't need the food. I have so much food with just the stuff I've been finding. I have too much of it, if, if anything, because I keep moving and finding more more of it. So I don't really need anything. I don't need to craft the wolf coats because I already have better clothing. Uh, the only thing will be carcass harvesting. Uh, leveling up. But that's almost level 4 already. And I have books on it, so I think it should be alright. Any rifle ammo. Check these cars as well. And if we do find any batteries, which we do, we'll leave it in uh, the trailer up ahead. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. How is this? 59, okay. How is, uh, do I have two? No, okay. I think we probably have enough now to make quite a lot of bullets and things. Man. Milton is the place for batteries, isn't it? So much scrap here. Crazy. Which we need to take to Black Rock or Bleak Inlet. Alright, let's check out here. There can be stuff in here too. Especially on lower difficulties. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, regular books. Hmm. Food, uh, hatchet. Uh, there can be a rifle here, which uh, I missed one day. <laughs> Grab this. It's a regular book. Regular book. Kind of regular book. Um... Don't see anything. No. Painkillers. Might as well take it. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Onwards we go. Wow. There's so much of it. So much of it. Might even need this much. Because what you can also do is when you make bullets. <coughs> You can just, um, you can just harvest the bullets and then use the materials to make new bullets. So I did that on my interloper run. On my interloper run, I actually leveled gunsmithing to level five. I read all the books and uh, that got me to level three something, I think. And then I uh, also uh, went to HRV and I made as many bullets as I could But of course the problem was I can only make the the, the actual uh, Like the actual bullet tip not the Casing or the the shell However, I had three bullet rounds because an HRV you can actually find revolver ammo even on interloper You can find uh, do I have any fix that one? Okay <clears throat> You, you can find usually three bullets at various bits where they are. They usually buy like a campsite. And if not, they are in a cave. Very often they're invisible. But they are there. And then you pick them up. So what you can do is you can go to uh, Bleak Inlet or Black Rock. And then you, um, you, you break down those bullets. And then you harvest bullets, uh, create bullets again with them. 
Right, another hatchet, which we don't need. I'm actually not going to leave things in here. Because I'm going to go via the uh, plane crash this on the way back. Like, hey, a stim! What condition is this? Work pants. Let's uh, eat something. And this. Let's also have a coffee. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Let's head into HIV. I'll leave a couple of things by the entrance. Because when we come out, we're going to go up to the plane crash. Because I, I don't remember the last time I was, I was at the plane crash. The, like the story mode plane crash, if you will. Uh, on a lower difficulty. On interloper, you'll find a stimulant. Oh, we have the moose spawn here. See if we can hear it. I can't hear it. Let's have a quick look though. If it is here, it would be up here. It might be there, but it's very foggy, so we'll leave the moose for later. For the bullet crafting later, we need gunpowder, so we need uh, for that, I think we need is it charcoal. And stuff as well. So if we go here and check, so this we need charcoal, yeah, and then these two things. But charcoal is easy, you can just light some fires, uh, let it burn for a while, then grab it. So I'm not too worried about that part. And then here you have scrap lead, and then the actual bullet is this, yeah. You should be able to level that in one sitting. Right, here we are. <clears throat> I might sleep an hour or two in here because I need the fog to go away so I can see where the signal fire is, if it's north or south. But there's a lot of stuff to check in Hashtra Valley. There's a lot of little caves and things that can have loot. <clears throat> right, let's leave a few things here too. So here on the ground here I can see it. I'm gonna drop some stuff I don't need to bring with me. Um, no, we'll take that with us. Uh, don't like leaving the arrowheads because they're too small. Uh, we can leave like these behind. No, why not? Uh, but we might use these for ropes. Why not? Yeah. So let's just put. Uh, it should be empty cave, lead and things to grab going home. I have a feeling I'll be heavy going home, but that's all right. We got the uh, moose satchel on the way back, so that's okay. We don't need any firewood or anything, at least not yet. Let's see, there will be a little bit of mist glue there as well. Wood, flare, corpse. Could actually just grab this rather than using the uh, thingy. Although I think this is a very small cave. So if I remember correctly, yeah, exactly, it's, it is a very small cave. Let's uh, sleep here for like I don't know, two hours, and then we can uh, see if the weather's all right. I'll have a coffee and then we'll have a look. It's late in the day, but but that's okay. <clears throat> is it clear or clearish? It is not. Can we wait an hour? All right. Well, we'll go to we'll go to the northern signal fire anyway. Not northern, the southern one, because the southern one can connect to other important regions. 
And if it's not that one, we can use the cave system, but we need to loot anyway. And I can use a stim here, or uh, I can use an energy drink just to get that done. So we're gonna we're gonna go and do that. I'm gonna climb up to the southern one. It might be there for all I know as well. So. I think it might be clearing up a little bit. But I still need to be able to see where it is, is the thing. It is clearing up a bit, yeah. Beja V is a great region. It's often very scary for people who don't really like it because there's very little landmarks. It's hard to navigate. But it is a very good region. You have, you know, Lots of uh, animals you can hunt. Well, there's loads of caves. There's many guaranteed matches. And there's really good loot to find here. Including the moose hide satchel. There's so much to find here. And uh, that I highly recommend going here. So if you're not comfortable. Maybe you're new to the game. Or maybe you just haven't gotten around to it. I would recommend investing some time to, uh, to learn it. <clears throat> I'm just going to go up here. Because there is a campfire that's kind of hidden. It's not always there though, but it can be there. Uh, what you can do, you can always go on a lower difficulty, go on Voyage or whatever. Go to HRE and just spend some time here. Spend 50 days or something here. Just to learn the map. Just to, just to you know, get, your, get a feel for it. And eventually you'll learn how to navigate it. And then if you play Interlope, you can come back here then. And we have, it looks like a dead carcass, okay. There can be a campfire here. Is there a signal fire? Let's see if I can see the signal fire from here. Don't think I see the signal fire. Let's pass time a little bit. Hmm. I think it might be over there then. Oh look. I think so. I think I should be able to see the smoke. Yeah, I don't think it is there. Okay, let me think. Uh, maybe we can skip the rope if that's the case. Nah, we'll still go up here. Just because... Is the bear? Yeah, there he is, yeah. Hey, bear. This bear is very often in the way. So I'm just gonna shoot him to get rid of him. Yeah, well, he's dead. Where did the other one go? Oh. Alright. So, I don't think the signal fire is up here. But we're still going to go here. Because there's a couple smaller things we can check. And also as an excuse just use this. Could have used the crampons, but we should be fine. Yeah, if I had had the crampons on, I would have been able to do that in one go without uh, losing that stamina. Oh, it's clearing up. Let's see if it clears up even more. It does. Signal fire. I don't see the signal fire actually. It would be there, right there. That is the plateau. So you, you go up and you go around up here, da -da -da -da, up this river, and then around. There's also a cave that leads there. But I don't see any smoke. So I think actually the signal fire is here then, which is interesting. 
So let me show you how to get there. You don't even need to use the hatchet. It's very easy to get to this one without the hatchet. It's getting back. That is the trick. <laughs> uh, but uh, that can also be done. If you would like to know more about Hashtra Valley, I do have a Hashtra Valley walkthrough video. So if you're new to the channel and didn't see that, because it was made a f quite a few months ago now, I have it on the channel. You just search for Hashtra Valley walkthrough and you'll find it. And what's unique about that video is that I have a GPS on it. But in that video, I have a mini map of Hashtra Valley and a dot that shows where I am at all times. So if you would like to uh, learn uh, Hashtra Valley, especially for Interlope and see what's there, you can watch that video and I, I go through it a bit more thoroughly. Okay, this, the reason I came here is that uh, you can find a corpse here. Seems like we have a deer instead. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, this is it. I wanted to find stuff like this. You can find these around. Uh, you can also find a, um, a plastic container and it will have the Polaroid. Let's just see what's in here. We got snow pants and climbing socks and wool long johns. Did I mention that uh, Hashtra Valley has uh, great loot? <laughs> Let's see, can I eat another one of these uh, things? How's my headache? So I'm gonna actually switch to this. This is colder, but uh, I'll repair it. Let's head to the signal fire. I presume it is here then, the southern signal fire. And uh, normally you go back the way I came, but you can also just billy go down here. Not difficult. And then we come to the obstacle. Let's drink a coffee. Why not? We'll sleep in a little bit. So here we are. So here is the entrance to the southern signal fire. And as you can see, it's blocked by the the uh, shrubbery. And you need to use a hatchet to get rid of this. And then you can break it down and walk through. Of course, this one is very easy to bypass. You just go up here. It literally tells you where to go, pretty much. And then you can just go down here. And then you've gone past it. Very, very easy. The issue is more how to get back out. <laughs> it is possible to do, but it's a little bit really tricky. Um, but it is possible. But you can also billy go down. But if you want to just not fiddle with all this stuff, just uh, just come here when you have a hatchet instead. No? Just do that. You don't sleep in this cave that's over here. But first, signal fire. There's the cave. So this is what we came for. Because here on Stalker and below, we will find the Moosite Satchel. And there's a Misk Loot here as well. Uh, that it can be quite handy. And saplings, which I don't think will take. And this was, I think this keeps burning even after you've been there. So here we should find a Moosite Satchel hanging on like a little, uh, a little branch or something. Uh, so let's see where it is. Should be here. Oh no, it's just hanging there. There it is. There's the, there's the signal fire itself. A nice little thing. Uh, and here we are. Here's the Moosehide Satchel. So you can craft this. But on Stalker and below you can also find it here. Which is great. Uh, which better to do that rather than crafting it. Let's put this on. And now we can carry 15 kilos extra. Isn't that something? All right, uh, we'll check this. Mackinac Jagger, that's fantastic. That's very good. Another stim. Another mag lens. We don't need that. Bullets, take that. Beef jerky, yeah. Take that. Uh, I'll check out this corpse here. Has a hatchet on this corpse. Going kit bullet. Don't need a hatchet though. Uh, 
And here you can climb down if you have a rope. If you don't, then... Yeah. Let's do a little mapping here for the fun of it. <laughs> there we are. So that's totally worth going for, if only for that. You get so much loot. And you can barely go down there where that rope anchor is. If you're just careful, you can just climb down very carefully. But um, I'm not going to do that today. We have a hatchet, so might as well. Let's see if we can hit this bunny. All right. I was just seeing if the aim assist would help, which it didn't. stay in here for the night and while it's still a little bit of sunlight I'm gonna repair those snow pants because I found some snow pants let's repair those they are better uh, than the other ones because we need to repair stuff anyway so oh we failed now they weigh more but barely anything well, they are warmer, so... How is this? It was one piece of cloth. Wow. Yeah. I think we can still repair this. Before it gets too dark. Oh, fine. Then we have the Mac it. So this is one and a half kilos, and this is also one and a half, and this is very strong. This is better, though. It gives you, like, four degrees warmth, you know? Uh, this one is not as much. I think it's two and a half degrees. But it's very, very good. An interloper, this is pretty much the best jacket you can find in the game. Uh, but on lower difficulties, you have the parka. So, and this is always there, by the way. On, on the single fire, you'll always find this and the moose hide satchel on lower difficulties. An interloper, you'll still also find this, but you won't find the stem and the satchel. But you'll usually find a hammer instead. We're going to harvest this. Feels bad, but we're just going to do it. <clears throat> And we found an additional one of these, which is also not needed, so we're going to harvest it. Normally, in a normal run, if this was a long-term run, I would never, ever harvest these. I would keep one as a backup. Because those are really rare and they're very powerful. But in this particular run, because I know I'm not going to actually use it, because it's going to expire, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. I think we can do this. Looks like it. Might be a clear night or something. Seems like it. All right, let's eat something. Uh, eat this. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat stuff that's low condition because if I get food poisoning, it doesn't matter. I'm full health anyway, so. And we should not be heavy when we wake up because of the satchel. There's a few places I want to check in HIV though. So we have the satchel now. But I don't think we'll be coming back here. <coughs> and there's uh, quite a few caves and things here. And they can have loot in it. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we find a, a few books here. I'm just going to eat. Try and get rid of these things. So many of them. And the chocolates I don't really take. I don't get that much calories anyway. Do that one. I need to cook the other things. There we are. Look how much carry capacity we have now. So much more. But we're still going to go check a few things. We'll repair this other stuff later. So, let's head back, and we're going to go through the ice cave. And loot the ice cave, there can be some loot in there. Uh, and we're also going to go in the other ice uh, cave to check the loot in there. And we're going to check some caves and uh, caches around. Just thinking though. Uh, we don't need all this. Let's just drop most of this. Just thinking. <clears throat> the only way to get to the lonely cave is here. But I'm not sure if it's worth going to the lonely cave. 
I'm not going to check every single thing. There is some more loot to be found here on this plateau. So up there, like right up there. Uh, there is a, uh, there's some food just laying on the ground. You just go up this, uh, this hill here. <laughs> well, I heard something. Pretty much just go up the hill where the wolf is running now. Yeah, up there exactly. Thank you, wolf. <laughs> and you'll find some, like pieces of food that's laying in the snow and if you continue down where the wolf is running now thank you so much for showing the way wolf uh you'll get to another shrub thing blocking your way and that one uh leads to the lonely cave and the lonely cave uh, can have like a hacksaw there's maple saplings there but i don't think it's worth going and checking it just just for the sake of it i don't think so this is the ice cave system two I guess you call it, or the southern one, because it leads to the southern ice cave. We're gonna light this, <coughs> just to use it, but also because this uh, ice cave complex has three entrances, and it has a wolf spawn. And you wanna be careful with that. Might as well pick this up. And this, this cave here is one of the possible spawns for the indoor wolves. This ice cave system is home to Sketchy the Wolf. Let's see if Sketchy is home today. We're gonna hop down here. Nice, the hammer. I don't remember if I picked up the hammer already. Nobody needs this anymore. But I'm gonna grab it. You can sometimes find invisible bullets and stuff. Let's just have a quick look around here. So in this system here, there is an indoor wolf that can roam about. He will be different places. And he's called Sketchy because he acts sketchy. He can glitch through walls and he's a bit of a buggy wolf. But people are often not aware that he is here and indoors. So just be wary of that. Be prepared if you come in here that a wolf can be here. Ah, oh, Storm Lantern. There's three indoor wolves in total. Sketchy in this cave. Scruffy, which is in a cave in Desolation Point. And most famously, Fluffy. Fluffy used to be in the dam, but she's now in Bleak in the Cannery. Some people call that wolf Muffy or something. They're thinking it's another wolf, but it's the same wolf. Uh, Hintland has said as much. Yeah, she's in the workshop. If you're listening closer, you'll hear Sketchy coming about, but even then, it's easy to miss. All right, here's the loot stash I was talking about. So in this cave system, you'll always find this campfire with this stuff. It will vary a bit where it is. It can be in other like alcoves like this, but it's always there. So you'll find the bedroll there. You'll find um, some clothing on interlope. You can find the hacksaw here. The bedroll is here, and that's very important. If you spawn in HRV, then you have the bedroll. And yeah, we have a book. Nice, we don't need the matches or that. Yeah. All right, so we got a book at least. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything else here. I'm gonna go left. If you're not sure where to go, just go left always. At the end of this cave si uh, system, this will come in handy. There should also be a uh, cache of stuff that we're going to loot. Or is that the, no, that's in the other system. My, my mistake. That's in the other system. But so this way leads out. Uh, no, it's not this way. Sorry, it's over here. It's uh, very easy to get lost here, but it's it's not actually that much that it goes in in circles. There we are. This should lead out. I think this is the middle exit, isn't it? No, this is the end exit. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. So now we are near the northern signal fire, which is up here. But we're not going to go there because we don't really need anything. But we are going to go to that area. Uh, let me just think of how we should best approach this. So <clears throat> I do want to check the caves that are here too. But I think we can do that later though. I think we'll go up and then down. So I think we'll go this way. 
Uh, this is one of the routes you can take. Uh, and then we'll go... Yes. We'll, we'll go by the cave system later. I'm not sure what's fastest, but it doesn't really matter what's fastest. Uh, this one you can circumvent. We have to be very careful going around, but we're just going to cut it down. Drop most of this. Drop that. There we go. I think this is a full blizzard, I think, so, uh... I don't think there'll be wolves around. But the reason I want to go ahead, there's like two or three caves that I want to check that can have books in them. And there's also a moose spawn as well, so... I'm just gonna check all that stuff. And then we'll go through the ice cave system probably later. Oops, uh, up here. If you're wondering, like, how do I know where I'm going? Well, it's because I learned the region, so... When I started out the interloper on my on my main run, I didn't know Astro Valley very well. So what I did was, uh, when I had survived around 200 days or something on interloper, I can't remember exactly, uh, I came here and I decided to spend 50 days here. I spent 50 days surviving in HRV, and I did. And I just established a base in a cave, and I hunted, and got food, and I moved around. And I just learned the region, tried to figure out all the routes, uh, the cave systems I even know now, but even the, the cave systems sometimes like, I can't remember exactly the left and right or whatever, but they, they, they look more confusing than they are. So it's, you don't really get lost if you just stick to going left always or right always or something like that. It's not that bad. And uh, after a while you just learn it. So even though there's no landmarks here, you you learn to recognize the different things that uh, can be found here. And there's a lot of rewards in this area. There's those caches that have uh, loot in it. There's caves. There's a signal fire. You know, if you spawn here, you can find a bedroll in that cave that I was just at, which is amazing. We should be coming to some ice soon, and that will take us to a cave. Ah, we have moose markings, I think. Was that moose markings? Yeah, it was, yeah. So we have moose markings here, interesting. I don't think the moose will be out, though. But it will be on Monolith Lake, probably. There we are. That should be the waterfall, I think. We want to go this way. If you're not sure exactly, then just find him on the lift lake and hug the wall. Just find the wall and then hug it and go left. Like, I mean, hug the left side of the wall, is what I mean. And here we are. I think the cave should be over there, but I'm just making sure here's the waterfall. Let's continue hugging the wall, hugging my left wall. Because it can be difficult to navigate this place in the blizzard. <clears throat> Keep going. There should be another waterfall coming soon. Just the one we want. And why am I misremembering. I don't think so though. I could be misremembering for, by all means. <laughs> I can get lost here too, for sure. <clears throat> this is not the cave I was thinking of, but I might go here instead. There's our unlucky corpse. I might take that and break it down. This should lead... Yeah. Okay, I know where I am. Uh, I know where the cave is, but I'm going to go this way instead.
This should also lead us to a cave or uh, two caves even. Cave is behind this rock, I think. Uh, I have it. So. And in here we have matches and painkillers. And then there's no point continuing while the blizzard is out. So let's just so let's just sleep here for like two hours. See if the blizzard ends. If not, we'll just stay here tonight and we can repair some stuff. I guess we are repairing some stuff. Uh, we have two pieces of clothing. <coughs> we can repair this expedition parker. Okay, uh, then we can repair this. Then we can harvest this. And we can repair something else. Let's repair... Let's repair this, I guess. Could break the uh, thing as well. There we go. It's broken. Get rid of that. I wouldn't mind getting some repairs from this. <laughs> I have a book that I might as well just read. Let's eat this. Doing fire the okay. Hey, many level two. Nice. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna make a fire, not because of cold, but because I want to cook a few things. So let's just make a fire here. This is I have so many accelerants. Let's just use it. I don't really need to save it. Not for this kind of run. Perfect. And we'll make some water. And we'll also drop uh, everything we can cook. These and that. <clears throat> I'll cook all of these because then I can eat it. I mean, I can eat it whenever, but I might as well level up cooking with these things. And if I get food poisoning, it doesn't matter. But I don't want to eat it and get food poisoning before I read some of this book. But the main reason for coming here was to get the Moosehide Satchel, but we're getting some books and other f useful things on the way. And we're setting up for a good learning run. There we go. How long has this got left? 11 minutes. Grab that. Make make a coffee. Take that, take that, take that, that, and that, and that. Is any of this in good condition? This is. Let's eat that. Drop this. Take the coffees. Make some more water. And let's read an hour of this book. Grab the charcoal as well. Okay. Did the visit end? Kind of. But I think I'll wait until morning. Let's put on uh, one more of these. Why not? And read another hour of this. <clears throat> I think that's probably enough. Yeah. Have a drink. And then we'll just read for as long as we can until it gets dark. I think we can do one more hour, but I don't think we can do two more hours. We can try though, but I don't think so. Oh, we're good. It must be a clear night. Nice. There we go. Drop that too. 
There we go. Let's sleep until morning. Uh, let's eat something that's low condition, like this. Because if I get food poisoning, it doesn't really matter. No, oh, stomach. Oh, it hurts. Oh, God, it hurts. Poor Astrid is deliberately giving her food poisoning, you know. Ah, that's all right. We're going to go to sleep anyway. Even without the antibiotics, it would be fine. Sleep for 12 hours. Actually, 11 hours. Parasites will be a different story, but uh, food poisoning is fine. There we are. And then let's go back here. Uh, yeah, let's eat these. I'd rather not get food poisoning though, but... Okay. Water. And we'll drop. There we are. All right, <clears throat> we are back on track. And I want to check a couple of things here. So here you can actually find a moose carcass. Let's see if it's here. It's not there. Instead we have a wolf. So where this wolf is, this is a ravaged wolf I would presume. Yes, you can see. Ravaged. There's not many of those. There's not many wolf dies. It doesn't look like this. Uh, when it, But there's... It varies. There's like between five and seven of these in the game. Uh, it's good to learn where they are for like dead world challenge and stuff. But where this carcass is, right here, you can sometimes find a deer carcass instead, nothing, or you can find the moose carcass. The moose carcass is very rare, but you can find it, which is just amazing. And if you do find it, uh, you can get the hide, it won't have that much food on it, but you can get the hide right away and cure it, and you can get the moose hide satchel pretty fast on interloper, which is really great. <coughs> Alright, let's keep an eye out for the other moose. I, I have never found the moose carcass myself, by the way. I mean, I don't always check it. I have done a lot of runs for different walkthroughs and tutorials, but they don't, they don't always end up in HRV. So, I don't know how many times I've checked, but uh, I've actually never found it. And most people I know have never found it. Uh, some people have found it twice. It's relatively rare, I'd say, based on how often I have seen other people find it. I would say it's something like a 2% chance. If you look online, there's maybe like three or four people who have posted about it and said, Oh, I found this. What's that about? And for example, streamer once and only who has done dozens and dozens of Nogoa runs spawning in, in uh, HLV. You know, he's only found it twice. So I, I've heard the guess is something like 2% chance. Give it a take. All right, here's the moose. Again, we don't need this moose, but I'm still going to hunt it. Mostly because big animals like that are good target practice. <clears throat> I don't really need to harvest any of this, but... Just for good measure, I can grab this. Put it in the cave over there. There we are. <laughs> uh, so that's the waterfall I was at earlier. And I kind of like ran... Ah, I've seen everyone run past this. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I walked there, then I walked over this way. That over there. And this this is the cave I wanted to go to. Watchful Falls Cave. And here we have another ravaged wolf carcass. Wow. Well, we're going to drop this here. And make a little carpet. Here we have a uh, lake cave. We have the flashlight, which we don't need. Hey, a book, sewing primer, and cloth. And we don't need any of these things. I'm just going to harvest these for the cloth to repair some stuff. And what was the other thing I picked up? Was it uh, oh, these? Yeah. All right. So there's more or less it for this part. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back down. But we are gonna go back down. Um, 
via the other ice cave system so that we can there's another there's a cache in there and some other misc stuff so see if we find anything in there and other than that there isn't really much to it there's a couple caves we can check but we're more or less done in each of these a couple couple of areas we should check before we go but more or less done could maybe hunt this deer for good measure just to have another another hit in our gun Sorry there. I need to level up a firearm, you see. Very wasteful. But this is all about leveling the skills. And I have the, the achievement for leveling all your skills to five. I have it on the PlayStation, because when I started playing The Long Dark, I played on the PlayStation. And actually, I have always been telling people I've, I've been playing since 2017, like late 2017, but I actually checked the other day and um, the receipt for when I bought it was actually uh, something like January 6, 2018. I probably discovered the game late 2017, uh, I, I guess. Though it's not completely correct what I said. But anyway, uh, I played, uh, I don't know, maybe the first year or something like that. So it's pretty much five years since I started playing. There's a, also a wolf carcass up there, by the way. Um, it's about five years since I started playing, and the first year or so, I don't, I don't know exactly, but roughly the first year or so. Um, actually, let's use, we have two flares, let's use the flare. I played on the PlayStation. Uh, mostly Voyager. And I got all the skills to level five. I have all the achievements on the PlayStation, except for a couple of the story ones. Is this way on? Ah, there's another rubbish wolf carcass. <laughs> there's a bunch of them here in HRV. Uh, but then I switched. I don't remember exactly when I switched. I think it was around the time I started watching Shardul, who's a streamer. He's not around anymore. Uh, he kind of taught me interloper and stuff. So he, uh, he played on the PC, so I switched to PC. And I think it's so much better on PC. The game is fine on console, of course. It's perfectly fine to play it, and it's a relaxing experience, sitting on the couch or whatever. Uh, but in terms of actual actual control, gameplay control, I find that the PC is, is superior. Easy to aim and be fast and that sort of stuff. I believe it's that way, but I'm just going to check over here. If you hear that, that water there, follow the water. I'm just going to have a look down here in the dead ends. To see if there's anything laying about. Looks like we just have a torch today. We don't need that. Well, we should be able to find a bow here, I believe. Uh, either in this cave or outside in HRV. I know a couple places it could be. This is like the... You know, here, where the sun comes through, it's like the... The, what's it called? Intersection, yeah. So, when you're facing it, like a, the T-junction, left and right both lead to the atrium. The other way leads into this, the way out. The other atrium. But it should be some loot. Should be coming up to it soon. A kind of bluish room. There it is. You can check here if you like. Um, for some more stuff. Grape soda. Stacy's grape soda. Sta named after Stacy Place. One of the earliest supporters of the Long Dark. Here we are. This is the blue atrium. The, this was my base in the base building challenge, if you ever s have seen that video. I'll take it. We don't need torches. Not in this run. Wool too, we'll take it for cloth. More climbing socks. Arrowhead, oh, I'll take that. Here we are, that's why I thought. Bow. 
So we have one, two arrows, one broken, two broken, and a bow. What's the condition? 68. Let me have a stim. This anymore. Uh, we might actually break down the shoes. And this leads out to uh, a cave, but we're not going to go there. We're going to go this way. Come out in the river instead. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. Wait. To get through it. Because <laughs> the uh, water will douse this. If you have a marine flare, it won't be doused. And it's that way, but I'm just going to see quickly here if there's anything. We have a backpack. Another revolver. <laughs> we don't need that, but we'll take the bullets. But in here, there is a cache, I believe. In this room here with the waterfall. I believe it's up here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe it's on the interlope. Ah, here it is, yeah. Here's yeah, the cash. Just have like combat pants and stuff in here. Flashlight, we don't need that. Another balaclava, we don't need that either. Work pants, nice. MRE. Okay. That's pretty good stuff. <clears throat> we didn't really need it, but still good stuff. We are wet now because of the waterfall, but that's right. I can't feel my feet. Ah! Yeah. So I got doused. Drop that. And here is Hush River itself. And if you go down this way here, there's a uh, there's a cave there. Get rid of that wolf. Another one to my right. Oh, yeah, of course we have a bow as well. <laughs> and that, that carries as matches. But we're going to go up here because it's usually uh, like a little campsite. There's a couple places around here where you can find some misc loot. Uh, and I'm just going to check that out before we leave this area. And there's the rope. So the, the cave is like next to the rope. Uh, sometimes there's a campsite here, so I'm just checking that out. There it is, I think. I think you can see the cave from here. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there's where the wolf is. Thanks, wolf is again showing me where things are. It's <laughs> <clears throat> probably gonna come back out of that cave though. Yeah, well, you enjoyed that. You enjoyed that cave. <laughs> there's another wolf over there. Uh, here's lots of saplings. Sometimes there's a campfire here too. Doesn't seem like there is one today though. There's a few misc places here to check out. And we're gonna check out. One of them is along this little river or whatever you wanna call it. Oh, there's two of them. I think we hit both of them there. Looks like there's a third wolf. Now up here we're going to check out too. There's a, in this area here, there's a lot of little misc things to loot. I'll see if I can do a mapping and you can see a bit easier where we are. There's also the Moose Valley itself, but we're not going to go there, I don't think. So here, for example, there's a hidden area. We need a hatchet to break this down. the sticks for that. There we are, look. A little campfire with some food. Check the backpack. This Can opener. Handy. Moose steak. Uh, no, nah, we don't need that. Polaroid, which I think is from the Vista. Yeah, we've already been there. I'm not going to go back there. <laughs> but that is... Uh, you can probably see it from here. I wonder if I can drop any of 
atmosphere. It's actually a little bit foggy. We were there, kind of. But we walked up there, this way. And the vista is over here. You can get there easily by going down into this area. And then climbing up. Probably the easiest way. Alright. Then there's another area down here I want to check. That has a bow spawn. Where did the bullet go? Uh, here, by these uh, these shrubs here. I feel bad going around killing everything. Uh, it's usually here, I think it is. But I guess it's not there today. Oh, is it over here? Uh, might be over here. But I think maybe it's not here today. Yeah. Oh, you have this corpse instead. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, it would have been where I first thought it was. There would be a corpse there with a bow. Knife! That. Don't need that. Actually, let's take the uh, take this one to grab the cloth. So I'm my clothing is getting frozen, but I don't really care about that. Then there's another place to check out, which is behind this stone here. And that's pretty much it of the like misc thing salute, except for a campfire up ahead as well. I think it's here. Uh, here, that's it. Yeah. So here, there's more shrubs. Uh, we're kind of like how to explain where we are. Like over this hill here is the <clears throat> the lake, the uh, the lake you see when you come out into Hush River. It will make sense soon. So let's break this down. There we are. Let's just drop all this stuff. Most of the stuff. And there we have another one of these caches. Another stim. More MRE. Another pair of snow pants. We don't need that, but we'll take it. So we'll just take it for the cloth. How's my uh, pie bar, actually? 68. Okay, we'll take this one instead, then. There we are. So where, where is this? This little hidden area here? You know, where's that? Well, if you go this way, you'll see where we are. It's not, not too complicated. This is where the bear patrols. <clears throat> and up here is a, uh, a lake. And uh, if you have been to HIV, you should recognize this lake, if nothing else. I go up there before I do anything else, so you can see where this is. Oh, I forgot to pick up the charcoal actually from the campfire for using gunpowder. That's right, charcoal's very easy. If I really need charcoal, let's light a bunch of fires that burn out. Okay. <clears throat> so the lake I'm talking about is just over here. Right. Oh, is it here? Here it is. Yeah. Behind here, you can kind of see it. There's the lake, right? You come down this area here onto this massive lake. And then when you come to the end of it, <clears throat> it's pretty much just... Over there. So it's uh, it's a little bit hidden. But it's there. There's another cave I want to check out. Before getting this little fire, then I can get rid of this and just use the bow or something instead. <clears throat> Here we are. This is another cave. The misc stuff here. Just taking some of this to craft. Might actually just stay here <clears throat> for the night. Now let's uh, let's do that. Let's break down some stuff. Wolf killed the rabbit. Don't use this for repairs. Level up some mending skill while we're at it. Uh, these as well. These take forever. Mm. 
Uh, I don't want to harvest this uh, the air up. There we go. It's so easy when you don't have to worry about the cold, you know. Alright, let's uh, repair some stuff. This will take too long, because uh, it's going to get dark. But this I could repair, I think. Try again. There we are. We also have a sewing book to read. We'll read that later. I think maybe it's too dark now, but we'll try to repair this. Might be clear nights. Maybe. Yeah, it seems a bit like it. I'm just repairing, but we don't need to repair these, but I'm doing it anyway. Mostly to get the repair skill up. Yeah, also we're a little bit warmer it's because so of it. Lay down right here. Oh. You can see plus 26, and they're also frozen at the moment, so... Let's eat something. Uh, eat these, because they're heavy. And they give us hydration as well. Eat this. Uh, eat the dog food. <clears throat> Anything else that doesn't require cooking. And there we go, I think. Nice. Might actually get rid of uh, being heavy because of that. There we go. And we'll sleep. Sleep 12 hours. Get all our energy back. And there isn't really much more to loot here in HRV. Maybe four days. Uh, we can... I'm not going to eat that right now. It's a little bit risky. I think instead we'll eat this. <coughs> Yeah, I ate about half of that. There we are. We're not heavy because of the Moosehide Satchel. Which is good. Alright, let's head up to this lake. I think there's one small thing we can check out <coughs> on the way there. I've got the wind against us. It went for me, then it went for the... Went for the bunny instead. I tried to save you, Barry, but it didn't work. I, think I, can use this. I call my rabbits Barry. That's just a thing I do. Then you have Larry, the indoor rabbit. I tried to save uh, Barry there, but seeing as I'm here, I'm just going to check another one. Uh, I think is it up there? Or is it up here? Might be up there. Ah, you know, I can't be bothered. There's a small, there's a lot of like smaller loot areas as well, but we're not going to bother with those. There's a lake I'm talking about. So if you want to find that, those caves, just come to this lake. It's easy, big, big and easy to find. And then you, uh, stair step lakes. Yeah, just go this way, you know. You'll, you'll find the cave and you'll find the other thing. Uh, beware of the bear though. There's one more thing to check out before we leave, and that's a campfire that's up there. And then we checked out most important things. There's a few other things to check out, some some loot to find. There's a uh, um, there's a few caves we haven't been in. Probably would have some misc loot. Uh, yeah, a few bits bits here and there. But in those places, we probably would just find something like food. Maybe some clothing. And that's about it, really. Let's have a coffee. Look at all our meat is being pretty much maxed out here. Saplings down there. <coughs> Let's 
Uh, you could also shoot the rabbits with the revolver just to level it up, but they, they're so small and it's just frustrating, you know. I think I'd rather shoot them with the bow, to be honest. You could also try and hunt the bear with the revolver. Not because you should, but because... It's a lot of hits. <laughs> it's a lot of hits. Okay, we need to go up here and then to the left. We don't need Tinder anymore. I'm not going to collect charcoal or this. If I do gun crafting, I could do that later. And then up here. So we came from down there. Gonna go here. And here there's very often a campfire. Oh, is it down a bit? Down? Oh, it's down. My bad. I went too high. It was around the campfire bend. Uh, it looks like we don't have it today. Normally it would be right here. A campfire with stuff in it. Uh, it's one of the other locations, and it, there's always a campfire to be found. There's various where it is. Uh, did I see one earlier? Where would it be? It wasn't in the middle either, and it wasn't there, it wasn't on the top. I think it would be near one of the caves I didn't check out, near the north. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not going to go find it. We found enough here. We found one book, I think it was. Only, oh, was it two, two books? Yeah, only two books. But we found the, the satchel, which is what we really wanted. <clears throat> and some bits and bobs. So we're going to head out of here now. And go back to Milton. Depending on how heavy we are. Uh, we'll maybe go to Fallen Muskie as well. Try and kill another moose. There should be a moose outside here. <coughs> the mo moose hunter <laughs> video, this one. I have two of these. Might as well just use it. Because they, they weigh. Might actually leave my uh, lantern somewhere. Because we don't really need the lantern anymore. Uh, because it shouldn't be a problem with... Uh... With torches and things, and flares. I might actually just leave it somewhere. There we are. Are we going to have to kill a bear? We don't have to kill a bear, but we will. And let's grab all our stuff here as well. Bunch of scrap metal and MREs and things. Heavy stuff. Alright, let's see if there's something I can dump, because we're quite heavy. Uh, we don't need the coal, actually. We'll keep one, though. Here, yeah, um... Don't really need these anymore. Let's get rid of those. Here, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we got MREs here. That's a little bit... Yeah. Let's get rid of this one. Low condition, anyway. Hammer I'm carrying around, because I can't remember if I have a hammer or not. And here we got the lead itself. I don't think there is much to get rid of. We just need to eat some food, really. Okay, so we'll just be a bit heavy. That's right. We're, we're like two and a half kilos over. It's fine. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to head to the Milton plane crash. Because the plane crash uh, can have some stuff. If you go there on Interloper... Uh, I'm talking about the plane crash from story mode now. If you go there on Interloper, it won't have much stuff in it. Uh, because uh, there's not really much loot there. You'll find some cloth and maybe some medicine. But you will find a stim there. It's always there. Uh, so it's worth going there on Interloper at some point, but it's not a priority place. But on lower difficulty, you can find some more stuff there laying about. So might as well check out. Let's see if the moose is here. Maybe, maybe we could hunt it with the revolver. <laughs> Uh, moose. It should be out on the ice here if it's out. I don't hear it. I don't think it's out. No, I would have seen it by now. Okay, this is this is where it will be if the moose markings are here. 
Uh, if it's not here, yeah, the moose markings, then it's uh, down by the Milton Basin. You can also just check out this little cave here. This bear that's coming up is the easiest bear in the game to kill. Because the bear is surrounded by cars. And what you can do is you can, whether you're hunting it with uh, the rifle or the bow, whatever, <clears throat> you can just shoot it and then you can, as it charges you, you just hop into the car. And it's pretty straightforward, really. Check out this guy. Give me a book. I'll take bullet, it. I'll take the bullet. So if you want to practice hunting a bear, this is a very good bear to practice on. I don't think we need more um, lead for the moment. So if this has a battery, it does have a battery. Uh, we will leave that because I have enough. If I need more than that, I'll just go and find some more. But between what I have so far and the bullets, I mean the... The books should be right. <clears throat> uh, also, in, in Blackrock, I find that there's quite a lot of gunpowder and stuff there, so... Should be right. Alright, coming up to the bear. We could, just to level this, try and kill the bear with a revolver. Yeah, maybe we should try it, just for the fun of it. There's also a truck underneath here with some misclute. There we are. That's uh <laughs> You shouldn't hunt the bear with a revolver, it's a very bad idea. But uh maybe just for the fun of it we can do it. There he is. Yeah. Oops, I'm stuck. Hey there, Mr. Bear. Come to Zack. There you go. <clears throat> so just to level up the revolver a little bit, I was going to shoot the bear with the revolver a lot. It's a good car because it's forward facing. Do. And I think if I reload her, I don't think these end up in the car, do they? I think they end up... Oh, no, they do. Okay. Hi there, bear. Don't mind me, I'm just reloading my gun. Hold on, hold on. Bear with, bear with. <laughs> he bugged out a bit there. <laughs> Do not. Tr Try this at home. Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've hit most of the shots and that's like 18 bullets and he's not dead. So you can see this is not a hunting weapon. There we go. But you can of course Kill the bear with it. There we go. Sorry about that bear, but uh, you see, I have skills to level up. And uh, you helped considerably. How did that affect my actual condition? Quite a bit. And as usual, we'll grab this. <clears throat> there we go. Let's head to the plane crash.
Because once I get to level 5 uh, uh, revolver, I'm probably going to stop using the revolver just to save another thing to carry around. It's not that heavy though, it's not really not really that heavy. It's like what uh one yeah, one and a half. And I'll just use the revolver and the bow instead. And I think I have quite a lot of casings for making bullets anyway, so should be fine. So we're gonna head to the plane crest and back to grandmother's house. And then if we're very heavy, we might head back to... Uh... Via... I think we might head back to Pleasant Valley via the... Mystery Lake, but I'm not sure. Might might take a detour... Into uh, Broken Railroad and see what we can find there. <clears throat> I might as well visit all the regions and then level up firearms and finding books and stuff while we're at it. I might do that. Might do a a grand tour of um, of of uh, Great Bear Island, just looking for books and things. I'm gonna stop picking up most of the food uh, until I need more food because I just have so much of it. it doesn't weigh much, but <clears throat> this is a fairly short cave, I believe. Do that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, so you can see you can you can kill anything with a revolver, even a moose. If you see another moose, I can <laughs> try and kill it with a revolver. <clears throat> it will eventually go down. It's just that it's it's not worth it. As you saw there, I think I fired because I reloaded like three times or something, or. or I think I fired something like I'm not, I lost track, but I think I fired something like 15 bullets or 19 bullets, and I think I hit most of them, not all of them, but most, and it, it didn't die. Of course, if you can hit the bear and he starts bleeding with a revolver, he will eventually bleed out. So you can just kill him that way. There we are in the little. Uh, this way, go in story mode, you know. And uh, there's a path down here, but I'm just gonna take this way. There's rabbits. And there's usually a wolf around here as well. Well, we're not going to... <laughs> okay, the wolf ran away. I just want to hear if he was there. Okay, well, he's bleeding out now. Yeah, so he's not going to be a problem anymore. I haven't bothered shooting the rabbits as I found them because they're so small. I can't be bothered to fiddle with that. Maybe with the bow I'll do it. But with the bow you lose our condition so fast. But it doesn't really matter in this case, though, because we're using the bow to level up a skill. We're not using the bow to hunt, not really. The rifle, I must say, admit, is really fun. You know, those of you who watch me regularly know that I play mostly interloper, so I don't really use the rifle. Um, but it is really, really fun to hunt with this thing. Uh, but a lot of people play gunloper. They do a custom run, which is just interloper plus rifles. And that works, too. So here we are, the plane crash. So here, where this is, on Interloper, you would find a stim laying on the ground. Uh, we have not found that. Uh, you can also find some loot inside of these uh, inside these crates, these uh, uh, green ones. Not very good loot, so much of it, but you you can find stuff there. <clears throat> Let's check down here also, because I think. There is some mist glute down here by the actual cave. This is where you start. If you played story mode, this is where story mode starts. Down here. Lots of firewood. There. 
And let's just see here. I know there's some suitcases and stuff here, so might as well check it out. Don't think we'll drink more coffees for today. I haven't been here very many times on lower difficulty, so might as well just check. Hey, Jerry can. This stuff will come in handy. Which we don't need. Backpack. With a bullet. And that's 18. With a bullet. Hey, Polaroid. Uh, where was that? I was a bit too fast there. That is... The tower. We're gonna go there now, actually. We'll, just, we'll do that. Uh, okay, I picked that up. Actually, let's grab this one. This is a drink. Anything in here? Nah. Wood. Alright. Found a polo. I wonder if that's the polo I'm missing, because... On my main interloper run, which has been over a thousand days, I have looted the whole world so many times. But I am still missing three Polaroids. Cannot find them. It's a bit frustrating, to be honest. Um, every 300 days or so, I go around and I loot the entire world again. So I decide to go on an adventure, I bring a bunch of food, and I go to a region and I check every nook and cranny. And, you know, when you go uh, do that and you're on day, interloper day 300 or day 500 or whatever, when you go back to places like that, you'll find little bits and bobs, you know, that you miss. Oh, there was a sapling here that I missed. It was behind this rock or whatever. Or something like that. And um, you find that you missed about 5 or 10% of the loot. And then maybe a few hundred days later, you do the same thing and you realize there's even more little bits you missed. Well, I have, I'm still missing three Polaroids on, after a thousand days. At one point I even looked them up, because I was like, where is this thing? And I checked in Mr. Uh, Milton, yeah, and I checked all the places it could spawn and it wasn't there. Which led me to believe that maybe it just didn't spawn, I don't know. So this, in my main run there's three Polaroids that I've never found after a thousand days. Maybe they just don't spawn. Just like you don't get a moose in every region either. At least not an interloper. So on my main run I have four regions that don't have moose. One of them has markings for moose, but there's never been a moose there. Wolf is dead somewhere. I don't think we're gonna run into more wolves. Might drink uh, this. We got so many of them. And I want to be able to run a bit more. So that we're now doing the story mode path. There's also a little cave in here. Actually, let me check that. I think there's a small cave in here. Is it in here? Uh, or maybe it was further up. Ah, I can't be able to go back. I think there's a small cave there. I can't have stuff. Where's that wolf? I'm just shooting everything, just to level things up. Shardul tactic. So Shardul, who I mentioned before, he was known as the Terminator in the Long Dark. He shot everything he came across. Oh, it did! <laughs> he didn't shoot it with a bow, of course, though. But he would just hunt everything that he saw. <laughs> I should maybe make a video about him one day. He's still reachable. You can find him in his Discord, but he's not really around. Hey, it's a book. Gunsmithing book. Nice. That's what I was hoping to find in these caves. Uh, but Shardul was someone who was active around like 2018 to maybe 20 or so. Uh, he taught me the basics of interloper. So before I started watching him, I struggled with interloper. I would die around day six, you know, that sort of stuff. And then he taught me like, oh, well, the trick is to keep moving. So, you know. He showed me, like, here's the routes you need to take. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. 
head to the forge and then I did that and then I consistently started surviving 30 days and at some point I said, okay well I got it now thanks Shell you know so he was very very helpful <clears throat> he had a, an amazing laugh he had the he had the best laugh of the long dark if you want to know what he looks like there are a couple of highlights of him in my twitch uh, community highlight videos he gave permission before he went away uh, for me to use it. Here's the vista location. I might as well use it. There we go. Look at that. Big map. Messy map. But wow, look at how much we map though. Polaroids do so much. Okay. Let's head to Grey Mother. The walls are around. And we'll do maybe a little bit of repairing in here or reading. I might go via Broken Railroad. I don't think I will go into Bleak Inlet. But I might go down to Fall on Nuske and then Broken Railroad just to see what loot we can find there. If we can find some more books or whatever. That will be nice. That's a wolf. I'm going to get rid of this wolf. Oh, hi. Yeah, you're trapped in here with me. That's how it works. I think they saw a rabbit or something. What's happening? Why are they like growling like that? I think they just can't decide who's gonna attack. Leveling up requires sacrifice. I think we'll stay in here for the night. We got some stuff here, but we'll sort that out after. That's my uh, bedroll, it's alright. Alright, let's do some. Uh, I think I have some stuff to harvest as well. Uh, I'll suggest this. Okay, we'll harvest this then. I usually wouldn't like harvesting that sort of thing, but we'll do it anyway. Let's repair this <clears throat> if we can. It takes a long time to repair those. And how much cloth do I have? I have six. Oh yeah, drop this. This can be cured here. For, for no reason, really. <laughs> uh, well, whatever, we can repair whatever. Whatever takes the least amount of cloth. This takes one. The one that takes more than one is like... Only if I have to. So this takes three, I think, or two? Two, okay. This it hardly improves anything. But it's something to repair at least, right? Uh, same with this. Like, it's repairing it for the sake of repairing it, really. Just to level up the skill. Or oh, this also, okay. Yeah, let's see if this works. Let me see if I can read this before it gets too dark. Ah, it's too dark. Let's sleep then, and let's again uh, eat whatever's heavy. Uh, we'll eat M MRE, I think. They are heaviest. Did fill up the stomach pretty much. Yeah, let me have a drink. We're going to be heavy when we leave as well, but we'll figure that out later. 11 hours. I might actually read this book now. Uh, just to dump them to be a little bit lighter, so I might do that. Just so we can travel a bit more light. So let's read Sorry, this. So 
This is having to carry this around. I think we can read the last hour as well before we get thirsty, I think. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's done. Uh, how many hours is this? Also five hours. How are we looking with time? Okay, we can read that too now. Uh, let's... Uh... Mm, I can't take stuff that's food poison is the thing. We can start eating one of these, so it gives us a little bit. And that. And then... Read this. Read five hours of this too. Should be able to do it in one sitting. There we go. Get rid of that. Now we got stuff. Can I repair something that requires? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, let's actually break down some stuff that we're carrying around. And let's do some cleaning as well of this stuff. So we have, uh, for example, oh, this I would like to repair, but we can't. Maybe at the farm we can repair it. This we need to repair. So let's clean this. So let's just do this for as long as we can. We can do this in darkness, so that's fine. Let's just keep all of this polished and ready. I think that's it. I'm so high cleaning skill now that uh, it'd be fine. A rifle, might as well clean it too. Use this uh, cleaning kit. One more time. I might as well just drop this. Uh, polish, let's sharpen stuff. These skills don't count towards the, uh, the achievement or anything, but I'm just doing it to maintain the equipment and get rid of items, really. So let's just do this. Need some more water, but there is water upstairs in the toilet. Could maybe go and eat that. I mean, grab that. All right, let's actually drop that. This. I'll do some inventory management in the morning. Can navigate in the dark, but uh, I probably will leave the storm lantern behind. Let's grab this toilet water. This is having to make more. All right, and then uh, let's eat this. The condensed milk probably will give us food poisoning. That's all right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Eat this too. And then that. We can drop this. There's no point keeping that. It's a little thing. This also is a scraps. Let's clean clean things up a bit. There we are. All right. Let's sleep. Uh, what would that be? Eight hours, maybe? Let's do that. Okay. A little bit of this. All right, let's let's have a look at our stuff and what we can maybe dump. The thing I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, probably. Let's see. I don't think I'll be going back the way I came. Let's grab all of this stuff. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And I'll see from there. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, so how heavy are we now? 53. All right. Let's actually leave the lantern here. And uh, that's why I don't really need it because I have torches and I find flares all the time. Let's also see. Uh, let's just go through some stuff. So I don't need two fire strikers. Again, if this was a long term run and I was in it for the long haul, I would need them. But because I'm literally had to level the skills, we don't need it. So let's drop that. Let's drop this too. I haven't been cooking the this, but we can keep it for now. Hey, we have way too much antibiotics. So let's drop that. I will drop all of it except that. <laughs> we have too many stims to be honest as well. But the stims could be handy, so we'll keep those. Uh, I'll try and use these at some point. Let's drop two of these bandages. And the crampons, I'm not really using them. And I've been to HIV already. We'll leave that too. Just to travel a bit lighter. Um, who doesn't weigh as much as it used to? Drop one of these fire cleaning kits. Uh, let's drop some of these. We have so many of these. Drop these five. Drop two of these as well. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, one of these. I think that is more or less it. Yeah. This also we can drop. And that. And we can drop that. So we're still heavy, but it's not as bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. We have a torture. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of being thirsty, let's uh let's have a drink here. Okay, so I think we'll leave this here. This is all a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, we'll put this uh, misc stuff. Yeah. Uh, I might as well put like crampons. I mean, I don't think we'll be using the crampons. So yeah, that saved a bit of space. So we're gonna go to Fallen Musky, I think, and then but well, via the farm, and I'll drop heavy stuff. Uh, by like poachers camp or something and then I can carry it with me or I could go to uh, I could go straight to bleak inlet is another option but then I would need more of these things <coughs> look at all these uh, dead wolves how much scrap under 42 <laughs> I'm carrying 10 kilos of this stuff but let's head to the farm we're not gonna check any more cars for batteries we have we have enough and oh, wolf coming somewhere there he is But I heard something. Could hear uh could hear footsteps. By the way, I'm just curious, how much is the weight difference? It's like point zero zero. And that's okay, so th this way is like half of this basically. Okay. Oh I could maybe go to Bleak Inlet with the scrap. But I think uh, not sure that's worth it, but I could maybe leave, I could maybe use Bleak Inlet as my forging location rather than Blackrock and then leave the scrap metal here. That will be an option as well. You run. Maybe that is an idea actually to come back for it later. So 
this usually is, is more stuff you can use to craft uh, gunpowder in Bleak Inlet. <coughs> so we could do that. We could leave it near the entrance to Bleak Inlet. Or something like that. All right, what have we got here? We got a trap, cloth. Let's find a key. Speaking of that, let's take the charcoal. A rope, we don't need that. Thank you. Knife, we don't need that either. Bandage, don't need that. Cloth. Don't see a key, is there a corpse? No. Let's check the tractor. Key. Then let's go inside. I'll just use a regular torch to explore in here. There's usually some, uh, like, a dust stump or whatever in here, too. Let's see what we got in here. That was the match. Alright. Another one of these. We don't really need cloth right now. I'm gonna take the water, though, because I want to make more coffees. Speaking of which, maybe we can make some more coffees here. Uh, that's an idea. Should be, yeah. <clears throat> well, there's usually some wood around. Um, let's just grab, well, there's books. We can, we can light the books. Hey, speaking of books. I think I can use this. So let's, uh, let's do that. Light a book, uh, with the torch. We have four accelerants, so let's we'll use it. Put the books on. There we are. Let's douse this. And instead grab this. And then we'll put this down and that down. And then we also have a couple of things. We have this. As well as this. While that's cooking, we can look around a bit. Let's make some coffees. Get rid of some water. Oh, rid of isn't really the correct. Uh, might as well just have a look here. <clears throat> I think. Uh, here we are. Yeah, I thought there would be something. Take that and that and this as well, just because I can cook those bullets. Bullets, matches, we don't need those. I'll leave that too. There we have some more stuff we can cook. This is all to be cooked because it's gives cooking skill. And then I can eat it as well. And this one. There we are. Done, 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 done. And we can also eat this. That's another one here. <laughs> uh, yeah, got that. I'm just making a bunch of these coffees. Might as well. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to check this stuff, I don't think. I and mean, I could if, I, if I'm just waiting here anyway, I suppose. Uh, but let's look around first. So I, I found a book already. Uh, I don't think there is much else to be found. Oh, bullet. In terms of books, I mean. Let's check the trunk. Uh, broom. Have a look here while I was cooking. I don't see anything else. This will come in handy. While it's just cooking, I might as well just check these for the fun of it. Done, done, done. Let's grab the toilet water. 
Ah, doch her. Oh, I took it already. Yeah. Whoops. In which case, do this. And then let's just check, check these while we wait. We don't really need any of this stuff, but I'm surprised I didn't find a, uh, a uh, quality tool or something. So a quick look outside. And just more wood, okay. Oh, I love this. This is a, a rare sight. Look at that. To get that kind of sunrise. A little picture, picture then. Uh, that's really gorgeous. There's a button. Is it F12? No. It's F10. There we are. There's a button you do. Uh, F10 gives you a high quality screenshot without the hunt. Okay. And here. Let's do this. Make some more coffees. We're just leveling cooking here, really. Pretty much what we're doing. Let's also make this birch here, so that's done. Let's craft the birch as well. I'm not going to pick any more of this up. Just for cooking, really. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of inventory. I've got a lot of coffees now. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's just eat some of these things, yeah. No, just, just drop that. Um, I definitely need to drink a coffee because I'm also quite tired. I don't want to sleep right now. This is a trick you can use. You can grab the water before it's boiled and then set it to boil. And then that will be done. And then I can use this to cook that. And I'll be done like almost at the same time. See? And now I have that, and I can cook this. It's making these because I'm going to use them. <coughs> use them for traveling and also cooking. And uh, just grab some more books. Oh, I missed that one. I was gonna make more of these, might as well, right? Let's also make the uh, birch tea, even though we don't need that anymore. But let's get rid of the ingre ingredients. Not enough water. Oh, now there is. Look at all this. Getting some cooking done. And these are the last coffees we'll make. Drink another one. I'll take this, 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 and this. And... Yeah, grab that and grab that. Oops. And that's it. So heavy, but not super duper heavy. 
I don't think there's any, anything we can really drop as such. We can get rid of the coal, I suppose. Um, yeah. I mean, this is heavy, but we'll, we'll eat it soon. And the hammer is heavy, but that's all right. Carrying a bow, an extra bow. This is so heavy. But we're going to dump it. I don't know if I've got a bleak inlet today, but I am going to dump it at bleak inlet. So that I can come back there and craft. That's the idea. I think I'll probably do gunsmithing last because of that. More saplings, we don't need those either. We have the wind against us, which is a little bit unfortunate. The one that got away. So here we are going down into Milton Basin. And uh, there's a shortcut to this. Well, there's several. Uh, ones and only has a shortcut he uses, which is to go up here. Which works just fine. But an easy one is to just glide down here next to this rope. In my opinion, anyway. It's not too difficult to do. Just go to the right of this rope. I mean, you pretty much just hug the wall all the way down. When I started playing the long dark, I didn't know you could go here. Because you don't go here in story mode. So when I was playing survival, I just like, one day I just looked out and I, and I, just, I just thought, but this was before I saw the rope. I just thought, it does seem a bit odd that this, this whole terrain you can see, but you can't go there. And then I looked around like, what if you can go there? And sure enough, you could. <laughs> What's that? Is that any of the deer carcass? Anyway, you can go down here. Very easy. Might take damage there if you it if you're not careful. Here we might get a sprain because we don't have our crampons, but that's all right. I'm gonna zigzag down. See, this loot that I have would be pretty much impossible without the moose hide satchel. Here yeah, it's also quite easy, just follow the line down. If you're a bit worried and you want to take it slow, just crouch, take your time, just look for ledges. Any kind of ledges, you'll be fine. Uh, it can take many different routes down. Doesn't have to be this one. There we go. I didn't check that cave that was there. There was a little plateau over there with a backpack. I don't know if there'd be a book there though. But we could check. This is also a moose spawn area, but uh, there's not going to be a moose here. I might as well check up there. Hi there. <laughs> Aw, Barry came out to say hi. I wasn't going to shoot him, by the way. That would be mean. Uh, I'll go and check up there. There's usually a backpack there. Might as well have a look while I'm here. Now I'll go to... Poacher's camp, I think, and we'll drop the stuff there. Then we'll head to Broken Railroad and have a look. See what we can find in terms of books and stuff. And I'm just going to shoot whatever bear and moose and whatever that I find.
So the, this is one of the Polaroid locations. You can find a Polaroid up here. It's not always there though. This head up here. Oh, I took to the stupid way. You can just go this way. Then you head up here. Then you go under this little like rock and then you do that. Let's have another coffee. I got so many. You know, I'm gonna use it to keep my energy going. To a certain degree, at least. <laughs> I'm carrying some heavy food I need to eat. <clears throat> yeah, I can go down there, which I think is just uh, saplings. Oh, is this actually a deer carcass? Oh, yeah, it is. So that's what I saw from all the way up there. Interesting. So here there should be some saplings, and I think there is a backpack here. Uh, yeah, there we are. And we have a book that is just a regular book. Boo. Uh, we have soup. Delorant. Dog food. MRE. Uh, I will leave the MRE. It's too heavy. I'm already carrying enough stuff. We'll also check... Check the, uh... The, the, the house down there. I just drink a coffee. Why is my fatigue uh, still going? There we go. I want to get to Poacher's camp and dump all this stuff. I'm going to check over here though. Because um, we got some. I don't actually, now that I think about it, I don't actually need to eat the heavy food I have with me. You just need to cook it to level up the cooking. And then you don't need to eat it, so you get the skill point anyway. I might actually dump it here to get rid of some stuff that's heavy. Because we got quite a lot of food and we're just going to keep finding more and more food. So uh, I might do that. And if not here, I'll dump it in like Poacher's Camp or something. Forging wise, I could also head to the forge just to forge arrowheads. If I wanted to. Just to level up archery. That's also an option. Maybe on the way back. Oh, I could do the broken railroad actually. Yeah, that's true. Could do that. Yeah, actually, with going to broken railroad, might as well forge there. Make some arrowheads. Saw some stuff in the yard. And then uh, make arrowheads out of it. Might do that actually. There, a hermit's cabin. There might be some misclute here. Let's see. Uh, doesn't look like there's a coffee. Yeah, okay, we can we can take the coffee. Now I'll leave that. Going kit. Uh, so that was pretty much it. And let me have a look here. Let's. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna dump this. Doesn't weigh a lot. Wait. But it is like a kilo gone if I drop that. I don't really need it. Uh, the lead will be... It will... I will be lighter soon. Once I dump the lead. We're not going too far. For that. I'm going to go to poachers. So I'm kind of going towards Mystery Lake. And then... Back to Broken Railroad, but it's just because it's I want to dump it nearer the to the Broken uh, Bleak Inlet region. I think we'll probably do that. I need to go back to um, 
Tim Wolf Mountain as well, because I left a Guns 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 book there. There's more wolves. Actually, hit him. <laughs> there we are. We'll check the. Do we need to check the cave? Mm, not sure. We need to check the cave, actually. But uh, now I will check it. But we'll check the little like. There's an alcove over here in um, Edge March. That uh, an interloper has a stim. On this difficulty, I'm not sure if it has anything, but I think you can find a book there as well. I might as well check that out. And I might have a little break in the cave itself, the, the transition cave, to read some stuff and just get rid of some of the stuff I'm carrying. Just to start traveling a little bit faster. Even though I'm just six kilos heavy, I'm carrying so much stuff that I travel pretty slow. Is this the moose spawn? Yes, no. It is not the moose spawn. I'm gonna check out this little alcove down here. Here you can find a stim on interloper. We don't want that though. We just want a book if there is one. Soda. And soda. Take the soda actually. Because I think I have two books on me, I might just read them in, in the cave here. Uh, just to get a little bit lighter. Uh, once, once I get to Poacher's Camp, I'm going to be really light because I'm going to dump all the scrap metal and everything I need to make bullets. Uh, except for the cartridges, I'll, be, I'll carry those on me because they're still so li quite easy to miss. And then we're going to head to um, Broken Railroad and we'll forge some arrows there. And we'll lose the area as well. And then we'll be moving much faster. So let's go through here. And there isn't... This particular transition cave doesn't really have much loot at all. Um, there's pretty much just one corpse, a little campfire, that has a rope, which you can use to attach to the rope anchor, uh, where I just came from. But there can also be uh, some misglued on the corpse, so he has a backpack and that sort of thing. Other than that, there's not much really to this. There's a carcass there, their carcass. Uh, and I think... Yeah, things in here, usually. There's like a little alcove, I think it's here by the snow. On the left. Oh, it's coal this time. Uh, I know it's not guaranteed to be here because I have been here and not found it before. But usually there's something here. <clears throat> not, not really anything today, it seems. Ah, here we are. Here's the rope. Torch is 100% torch. Might as well grab it then. Okay. And here is the exit. I'm going to actually stay in here a little bit and read those two books so that uh, I'll get rid of some of the weight necessary. And I can eat some food, so I can sleep, and we should be a little bit lighter. Yeah, we should be fine. I can dump some water also if I need to. If I can get below 50 kilos, then I will travel a little bit faster, is the thing. So here we are, here's the exit. I'm gonna wait here a bit. There. Alright, let's grab the two books we got. Oh, it's only one book, I thought it was two. Didn't I read a book on sewing? Oh, actually, I think I did do that already. Yeah, I did, yeah. That's only one book. Okay. 
Oh, I'm still going to read this, though, because this book can only be used until I get to Firearm 4, and then you can't use it anymore. You need to read guns, guns, guns book. So I'm just going to read this. Four hours, sure. Let's go for it. There we go. We can drop that. Hey, Firearm 3. Yeah, let's go. Which gives us more accuracy range. Okay. Uh, I think we'll just wait here and sleep unless I want to use maybe some of those sprint things uh, let's eat this there we are uh, did any of that remain? yeah let's drop that <laughs> 11 calories and let's have a drink I think we will just sleep here until the morning. We'll we'll uh, wait a little bit first until it's about dark. So about uh, till I can sleep twelve hours, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, put this down, and we'll drink some of our cans. Because they weigh quite a bit. There we go. Sleep 12 hours. I am too tired. Straight. If I can get below 50 kilos carry weight, it will be it will be moving a little bit faster, which would be nice. Uh, drink, let's see. Let's actually drink these as well. We don't really need them or anything. Uh, heaviest, uh, let's just eat these. They're not really heavy as such, but I might as well stop getting rid of these. And then we don't need these at all. It's just to get hydration, really. Sounds like it's a blizzard though. So I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna go out in the blizzard. It's a long blizzard. Okay, and end it. Drink coffee. Then this, and that should take us under 50 kilos. There we are. But now I should be moving a little bit faster as well. I'm pretty sure it works like that. Yeah, so now I can move much faster. Well, much faster. Faster, anyway. Check out this tower here. This is a this is a Polaroid location. But we don't have the actual Polaroid for it. We're going to go here and check out a couple boxes and things. There's usually a couple wolves here. You can have that there, the Wolfie. Of the deer. <laughs> uh, I know you got, you got scared from my gunshot, though. Hold on. There is no escape from the revolver. This should give me a pretty accurate representation of how many bullets I fired. 83. Actually, does it say in the stats? How many you should, revolver shots taken? Revolver shots is seventy. Okay, so it's about uh, a little bit over fifty. So like fifty-five percent accuracy or something like that. Rifle is much higher, more like ninety, eighty-five or something like that. Okay, let's check this out here in case there's anything interesting. 
Don't think there'll be anything though. Can open a granola. Take the soul, I guess. And wow, two can openers. Another air wrap. <laughs> Oh, we don't really need that though. Am I still carrying two air wraps? Yeah, I am. Oof. I, I guess I can dump them somewhere. Let's uh, drop half a liter of this. Yeah, better. Alright, let's head to... Oh, that was not meant to happen. I wasn't meant to fall that far. <clears throat> There's a cave over there as well. We're not going to go there though. Because uh, I don't think we'll find much in it. More wolves. So many wolves. So few bullets. At first, uh, that last one there was a bit weird. This will come in handy. Would be cool to shoot the wolf in a struggle, also, but I don't think it's worth the condition of the clothing. thing <laughs> a bit risky to actually pick them up uh, with the, the revolver out because I'll just end up shooting the ground can I cross it I don't think I can let's have a look okay I can that's good Makes it much easier. <laughs> Let's see if the bear is out, because then we can hunt the bear as well. Uh, this time, though, I think I will... Oh, well, that's interesting how I do that with the rifle. Let's see that again. I don't know what that was about. But okay. Uh, if I see a moose, I'll try and kill the moose with a revolver. <laughs> just to say I've done it. But the bear, I'll just shoot with the rifle. See you around. Usually he's around here. Mr. Bear, where are you? Can't actually hear him. Usually if he's out, you'll also hear the bear. Guess he's not out. If he was close to me, uh, behind a rock, I would still hear him. So, I'm not sure. Okay. Here also we can find some misc stuff. We'll loot the rest of Fallen Muskig later. For now we're gonna dump our scrap metal, become light again for once. And then move on. We'll probably head to uh, Trapper's Cabin after Broken Railroad to uh, craft some arrows to level us up some more. Oh, actually, there's a backpack I usually I forgot about. Backpack's kind of books, I think. Uh, what's this bandage? Yeah. No backpack that I can see. Looks like tomato soup. Yeah, I'll go grab that. And I think you can go... Is it under here you can go? Yeah. Okay, let's check out this place. Poachers can. I'll take it. Uh, we don't need it. What else? Antibiotic, scrap metal, bedroll. All right. Now uh, here we're going to drop uh, all of this, as well as this and that. So let's just put a note for that. Uh, this is no longer valid, so we'll put 
uh, FM pouches. X42 lead. Uh, one plus one duster thingies. I can't remember what they're called. Right. So that's good. So we can leave that behind. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll probably take the rest. Is there anything else I can leave here? I think I might take the coal with me because I might use it to, um, to forge. And there's anything to leave here? I don't think so. I think that's it. We could leave um, some extra food here. So let's just grab these to tidy a little bit. Look at that. Uh, we'll leave these here like this. Uh oh, my bad. It was sorted by weight. Uh, let's leave some heavy food here, like these two, for example. They're quite heavy. And I guess that's probably it. Yeah, we can... Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, and these two. Let's actually put these in this container here. I'm carrying them around. They don't really weigh much, but still. Dims, we'll just keep them, I guess. Maybe we want to use it for some extra sprinting. Okay, so we're going to head to Broken Railroad now. When we come back from Broken Railroad, we'll probably take a little detour into um, the forge. Not to actually forge, but because there might be some additional loot there as well. But I'm also going to check the blind here. There's a hunter's blind down here. So we're going to go to uh, Broken Railroad. We'll make some arrowheads. <coughs> so we can make arrows. We can make the arrows themselves in trappers. And then we can... Um, but we'll also loot Broken Railroad. Because there'll be probably some books there. Be some stims. We'll check out the ravine or the basin that's in uh, Broken Railroad. So the blind is over there, I think. I haven't seen the bear. Should be two bears around. I have found some books, but not as many as I would have liked. I have gotten rid of them by reading them, though. I read, like, what was it, four books that I read in uh, Mountain Town, and then I read, what, two in Hushra Valley and one now, so I think I've found and read, like, seven? Something like that. Which is okay. And there's three books in the dam, and was it five books or six books in, um... Pleasant Valley, and then we have the Guns, Guns, Guns book as well. That one I will not read until I'm rifle level 5. Then I will read that book. Check the blinds there. Blinds can have uh, ammunition, books, all sorts of things. Can I go across here? I cannot. I can go here, but yep. Yeah. All right, let's check the blind. Can I take a long shot? <laughs> oh, that's tricky. He's swaying so much. Yeah. That's a tough shot. Oh, hello. All right, what have we got here? Uh, I'm actually going to take this hacksaw and dump my other one. Take these two because we can have cooking with them. And let's keep going. And in Broken Railroad we should find some bits and bobs. Because there's loot in... Maintenance road, uh, maintenance yard, hunting lodge, and the basin, and it's a very small area, so it won't take us very long. 
and there's some smaller loot areas here and there that might have some books or something too. So we'll go and find that. This is a great bit too, I'm just running around, looting, pretty much just looking for books. Clothing wise, I don't really need anything, I found my other snow pants. The only thing will be couch and sweaters, which uh, I have not found yet. They are ultra rare though. Also, I don't really need it, because at the moment, for example, it's... <laughs> 20. It feels like 23. <laughs> you know? Because the gear is just so good. So we don't really need more warmth. Not really. After the next sprint, I will probably use one of those energy drinks just to uh, sprint some more. I am Zack, the destroyer of Fauna. I think I shot more rounds with a revolver and rifle in this uh, video than I've done in all my other videos collectively. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Sometimes there's a campfire or a corpse over here. Doesn't look like there's anything like that today. No, it's the maple. Let's drink one of these things. They actually give calories, I think. I think they give a hundred calories. Like that. There we are. Cases of wolf. Not gonna check down there. Uh, there's nothing really there. But there is another area with a corpse over this landslide. We'll check that. I think there is a backpack down down there uh, at the edge of that little river thing. There is a uh, there is a backpack. But I don't think I can be able to check that. <clears throat> Over here there's some backpacks and things too. There's usually a wolf or two and Broken Railroad itself is a bit of a wolf nest. There's so many wolves around the maintenance yard. If you come here, especially on Stalker, don't be surprised if there's like four wolves in the yard, then another four wolves down on the ice, and then there's a couple wolves by the hunting lodge. You, you can easily find like 10 plus wolves just around uh, Broken Bay Road. All right, let's see here. There's, sometimes there's a corpse or a campfire over here, so let's just have a look. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is anything today, no. It will head back to... Energy boost, okay. I'll wait until that expires. Where we just came from, because there's usually some, like a backpack and some other misc stuff here. Do you have a stick? I have two sticks, good. Not worry about fire starting or cooking level fire, that will come really easily. Carcass hours thing will come easily as well once I uh, have the other things because I can just shoot something and harvest it, you know, it's fine. Uh, there should be some misc stuff. There's usually a wolf around here too. Ah, I would have, should have seen a backpack or something. Here we are. Uh, hatchet. Okay, well. You don't need any of this stuff. There we go. <clears throat> the uh, headache has kicked in. There we go. All right, we'll check the misc stuff on the way back. We'll head straight into the 
the yard now, I think. So a quick look at this truck here. I don't see how many wolves are around, <laughs> if any. We should maybe break down the crates with loot as well. Just to uh, see what we can find there. Hey Wolfie, how are you doing? Aim assist. <laughs> I hit him. Aim assist. <laughs> oh, he glitched through. Yeah, have fun with that wolfie. Uh, check this out as well. Show where the other two went. That's all right. <laughs> but I had something. You only need one shot to kill him. Once you hit those first shots and they run away, they're going to bleed out, so they're dead. I'm just shooting them. Some extra, just to get the skill to level up. They hate the light. You don't know what this means, it's to do with the Aurora. They don't like the, the Aurora light. Like, when the Aurora kicks in, Nobody needs this you know, things like uh, these lights will turn on. These ones. And then you can stand in that light and the wolves will not attack you. That's what that means. Uh, they do it in story mode. This stuff will come in handy. Uh, nothing really here, uh, but I'm gonna cut down this though. So I can make some more arrows. Let's also check here. I want to open a couple of crates. So I'm going to open this crate. I'm also going to open this crate up here before I start looking what was in that first crate. So in here, this crate here, I'm not sure if you can see, but this crate can have stuff in it. So that we're going to do that. There we are. And then we're going to light a torch. Let's light the worst of the torches. We can see, is there anything in here? There is a stim! Hey! So that crate that I just broke down, that if you didn't see it because it was very dark, is here. Yes, the first one I broke down is this one, which had the beans inside. And then up here, on this little ramp here, there's these two crates, and then one behind it. And the one behind it can have a stim. Isn't that nice? That stim can also be there on interlope, though. Alright, let's look around. Uh, see if we can find anything interesting. We don't need food. Guess I'll take the charcoal. Arrow shaft. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. And uh, this box here can also have loot. Uh, let's see what's in here. Got the beans. Peanut butter. Boots. Oh wow, military coat. We don't need it though. Any books or anything? No? Okay. Well, else? Oh, nice. Here's the forge over there. 
Well, here, okay, we got some lantern fuel. We might as well take that. Bullets. We'll grab the toilet water, why not? I'm not sure I can carry much more. Uh, no. Wow, two military coats. Uh, take this too. I think I can use this. So much good stuff. I don't need any of it, but it's good stuff. I mean, the forge will loot that later. Not really anything to loot at all. Uh, and we have here. that right now. Check this workbench over here. And one of those. Bear shell. <laughs> then over here, another over here. Usually a jerry can. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Right there. But we don't need that either. And over here, oh a hacksaw. What condition? Eighty nine. Okay. And here's usually some food or something. Yeah, I'll grab this one. Ketchup chips. All right, let's. Uh... Let's light the forge, shall we? And make some arrowheads. How much scrap metal do I have? Thirteen. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's eat something that's heavy first. No, we'll eat that when we cook it. Yeah. So let's just do torch and stick. And we have an accelerant, right? Yeah, we have three, so let's do it. Let's just use it. And then we'll put on first all of this. All of that. And then we can douse this. And while it's warming up, we can drop these things. Doesn't matter if I get food poisoning eating them, because uh, I'll heal that back up. <clears throat> All of this. I don't have to eat these, I suppose, but I'm going to cook them. Uh, it, I guess. How is my cooking skill? Did that. The cooking skill is uh, still a little while away. Let's put a coffee on as well. Okay. How these? Yep. Yeah. They're all cooked. Yeah, this pack is getting heavy. All right, so let's eat the beans first. Because they dehydrate us. Then we eat the uh, these ones. They hydrate us. There you have it. Have some water as well. I think that's enough. And we can put this for like half liters, fine. Now we need to put this on. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, oh, okay. You want more? Make another one, and we'll make uh, one one hour ahead. How much water? Uh, let's do one more. I'll probably just leave the hammer here after. Yeah. Uh, one, one more. 
We don't need to make the improvised knife and hatchet. There is an achievement for that, making a full toolkit. But I already have that, so I'm not grabbing that. I think that's enough. Okay, let's uh, have that. And this. And then let's forge some more arrows. It's still gonna burn for eight hours, so. Make 10. Oh, an Aurora. Cool. There we go. Let's eat this. Our drink also. There we go. How much left? Three hours. And so how much more can I make? I mean, it more or less covers it. And back there, there were 15. I think I make about 15 arrows with the stuff that I have curing. So let's do another one. Let's add another three hours to this, shall we? Oh, is that it? Okay. Well, I'll do one more then. Yeah, unless there was some wood laying here, I think, maybe. We can grab that. Also, I forgot to loot this. Oh, ah, hatchet, nice. Don't need it, though. Okay, this should extend it a little bit. We can do two more hours and that's it. And I think we will just drop the hammer. Put that here, oh, next to it there. And just in case I were to forget, we'll put the... Uh, Yarns. How am I by forge? No cool. There we are. Oh, is that a book? It is a book. Nice. And I think it's this one has stuff inside it. It does, yeah. We don't really need that though. Uh, we're gonna stay here until the morning. Uh, how's this? 89? Let's... Okay, let's... Uh, break these down. We can maybe repair these shoes. We don't really need to repair them, but... We'll do it anyway. There we go. How are we doing with cloth? Five cloth. Let's also harvest this thing. Anything else I can repair here? Yeah, I can repair these, why not? There were some more repairs. And, uh, nah, I guess that's it. All right, let's, uh, let's eat stuff. Start with, these, these all give hydration, so. This, that, and then just drink water. And then we can also get rid of whatever, 32 arrowheads, perfect. Get rid of all of these except two. There we are. We don't really need this actually, let's get rid of it. Because we're crafting the gunpowder and whatnot. Just, yeah. Charcoal dusting stump. Yeah. Let's sleep for 12 hours. Then we're gonna go out. We're going to hunt everything we see. Just for the sake of it. Alright, these like 
mini coffees here that I never finished drinking. Oh, so I'll just have them now. How long does that give me that? 11 minutes. Drink a full coffee. And that gives us for like an hour. Yeah. Let me drink this. <clears throat> That's good enough. All right, let's go. Let's check out the rest of this. Oh, actually, uh, I'm going to grab this as well before I forget. Charcoal. Yeah. That makes me a little bit heavier, but that's okay. We need that for uh, bullet crafting later. All right, so we're going to check out the blind down here. And if there's a moose, we're going to kill the moose. The bear we will shoot with the rifle, but the moose I might try with the pistol just for the sake of it. We don't have moose markings, so if there is a moose, it's up by the lodge, so we're gonna go there. Oh, that guy was persistent. I'm coming for you anyway. Hey, revolver level 5. Fantastic. Alright. What does that do exactly? Aim is moderate. And condition is reduced. Recall is uh, compensated. All right. Very nice. Then I think it's time to soon retire this thing. Let's use the bow and stuff instead. Anything in here? Wow, nothing. Oh. Don't see the bear, but we're likely to run into the bear another time. Okay, so we got that to level 5, so we don't need revolver books anymore. I think maybe I left some revolver books in the dam. That's okay. I might as well use this one now, or we can use the bow, of course. If I see the moose, I will try and c kill the moose with, uh, with this, just for the fun of it. <coughs> just to see how many bullets it would take to bring down the moose. There should be quite a few. And then I think we'll permanently switch to the rifle or bow after that. I'm gonna check out this cave as well. Uh, I don't think we'll go the rest of the plateau route. But we are gonna check out this cave that's over here. Yeah, so in here there can be a fire striker as well. And there's a corpse usually, so there might be some misc stuff here. Let's see. Bear carcass. Is there uh others maybe? Mm, don't see any feathers, that's weird. Here we have our corpse. Nothing on the corpse. Okay, well, let's move on then. Maple, we don't need that. I can grab some birch if I see it, maybe. Alright, let's see. The moose should be here. Uh, well, I may, it may not be here, but this should be the moose spawn because there weren't moose markings down by the yard. So it should be here. Unless there isn't a moose spawn in Bleak Inlet. I mean, Broken Railroads uh, on this run. Uh, Bleak Inlet, there's always moose. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Moose, where are you? You around? I don't see moose markings either, actually. Uh, no. Oh, okay. That's a shame. I love this moose. If you get a moose spawn up here, this is such a cool base. Because you get, like, a moose, rabbits, wolves. 
You know, it's just so much better. Uh, it's a really, really cool area. Doesn't seem like there is a moose in uh, Broken Railroad then. Unless I missed the markings. Hey, look at this. Another bow. I don't know if we need that many bows, but... Let's just uh, get this guy. Did you think you could zigzag me? Yeah, I'm not gonna take a shot that I'll probably miss. Let's check out here. Is there a fire striker here? No. Right here. No. Is there a rope here? No, then it's probably indoors. Let's get the uh, torch. Did I burn out the torch? I think I did. Yeah, alright, there's this one then. Go inside. Alright, so see what we got here. I can see a book. Cooking book. I'll take it. We'll take it, yeah. Uh. Uh, we can take this to cook coffee. You can actually level up cooking by warming up the coffee. Only only coffee that you find, not coffee you make. But if you find the coffee, you can warm up and you get a skill point for that. Another maglens. But of course, I, I can't remember which coffee that was, so... Matches, okay. Don't need matches, I don't think. Uh, let's see down here what we got. Hope nobody needs don't need anymore. that. Here's the rope, we'll just take that. Heavy, but that's alright. We drink a coffee. We're not planning on sleeping, so that's fine. Uh, anything else? <laughs> a revolver, which we also don't need. Bullets. I don't think these drawers have anything specific. No. Okay. Okay, I think that's it here. So we found one book. Check upstairs. Is that ah oh, fisherman? Okay. I don't find any couch and sweaters yet. Though. I know they're super rare. I'm this not even sure really if they heavy. spawn in this difficulty. I think they do though. If I don't need cloth. I can just go back to pretty much everywhere I've been. <laughs> There'll be a whole bunch of it. Let's check here quick. Uh, we don't need that. Anything on there? No. Okay, what about in here? Nothing in those drawers. In here. Antiseptic. No. Okay. I guess that's it then. Actually, I could craft a torch, I suppose. The lantern fuel. Oh well. Alright, let's uh... Let's uh... Oh. Let's go down to the basin. I think it's this way you go to Billy Goat Down. Uh, I think it's like this. Pretty much this, yeah. Go through the wall a little bit. Where's the bear? 
Is it just me, or are there less bears on Stalker than Interloper? I feel like on Stalker there's, there's more wolves, which I know there are more wolves, but... More wolves on Stalker, but less bears? But I can't see the bear anywhere. been a few cases where I've been looking for bears and I haven't seen it. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, so this, is this the bear cave? I think the bear cave is for the back, not this one. Yeah. Nothing in there anyway. We're gonna go down to the basin. If you haven't been here before, you should go down to the basin or the, the ravine. So there's like a little valley down here, like a, a ravine with a river that is easily missed because it's on the edge of the map and there's a rope to get down. And it doesn't really look like there's anything to do down there. But I would recommend going here because there's uh, quite good loot down there. Seems like we have two corpses, I think, with stuff. There's one. Got a knife. Revolver. Milk. Another corpse here. Nothing on him. And here we're gonna attach the rope we found. Go and just to be a bit lighter. I'm going to drop a few heavy things here, so you can just do this actually. Drop the rifle, drop uh, the revolver, hatchet. Oh, we don't need those at all. That and that. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm carrying that. I must have broken something down and gotten. There we go, and that, and that. And then I can use the stim to get back up if I want. We're gonna go down here, and down here we can find some corpses. There's usually a stim here. You can find fire striker, coffee, ravaged wolf carcass, deer carcass. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can find down here. It's worth going here, and on interlope especially you should go here because there is a um, this is a stim location. You can find a stim here. But I would recommend that. So let's see what we got here. There's our first deer carcass. We're not going to harvest. I mean, I guess I could just for the sake of it. Wolf carcass. Let's see. I'd rather harvest something big. Uh, there's a backpack. And here is a lucky person. And there's another hunting rifle. This will come in handy. Hey, maple syrup. Look at that. Thank you. Is that actually... It's not loaded, is it? No. Drop that. Hey, a shooting book. Nice. And then uh, it's usually uh, another carcass. Yep. And then, at the end here, I'm not sure if there's any more, no, by the end here, underneath this bridge, under the broken bridge there, uh, there is a container, and that container can have really good stuff in it. You can find coffee in there, fire striker, it varies. Sometimes there's nothing really in it, but... There we are, this container. Oh, cash. Look at that. So let's see what we got. Coffee! Don't need that. Don't need that. Stump remover. Okay. Flare. Uh, might take it. There we go. So that was not bad. Let's head back up. Might even use a stim or something to get back up just for the sake of it. There 
can like run to the maintenance yard or something. I don't know. We don't really need anything in the maintenance yard though. We got everything. I think we'll use one of those skull drinks. I think we have two left. Alright, so that was the uh, Broken Railroad Ravine. I think that was a success. I mean, we leveled up Revolver, we got a couple books, crafted arrows, we did it indoors also rather than outdoors. Yeah, it was all good, I think. Alright, let's uh, drink an uh, energy drink thingy and get up here. Here we go. We're light, so this, we should probably be able to do this in one go. It's not that long of a rope. Up we go. I think we'll be heavy when we pick up our stuff. That's alright. There we go. All the way up. Alright. Pick up all this stuff. I'm actually barely heavy. Uh, let's eat this. Might give us food poisoning, but it doesn't matter. Let's just get full bellies here. As much as we can, at least. All right. I'm actually just barely, barely heavy. I'm gonna go up this way because there's usually another corpse around here somewhere. I'm gonna have a look at that too. Let's see if I can drop one thing. It's something small that I can drop. Actually, we don't need the coal anymore. Drop that. Just need a stick to make a fire. When the time comes to make a fire, I'll just grab some sticks or something. Up here, there's usually like a corpse or something, and there's also um, a train cart, and I think that can have a book in it. I'll we'll go check that out. And then we'll head back to Mystery Lake via uh, the farm in Fallen Muskeg. And then we'll head to Mystery Lake and make arrows. Then I'll, once I've done that, I'll probably get rid of the revolver. And just use the rifle and bow exclusively. There's the train cart. You have to go here for the Dark Walker. You have to come here and then go up there to get to the Dark Walker area. Maybe the expansion is this way, eh? Maybe that's the far range. Nothing here really except for this. What's my condition? I need six. Might start using some stims actually, just to get out of her faster. There's nothing really left to loot. So why don't we use a stim just to uh, get home faster? I got so many of them. Let's do it. Because <clears throat> we don't we don't really need them. We have so many. Normally I'd keep these for emergencies only. And if this was a long run, I definitely would take this much, much slower and I'd store stuff. But in this particular run though, because I'm basically going to die by... Die by patching is what's going to happen. Uh, I might as well use what I can to just get to places faster, really. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I didn't really leave anything behind that I know of. And then we'll head to the Spencer's farm. There isn't much there, uh, but there might be a book. Uh, there's a safe. And there's also, uh, on the way out of there, we have the Hunter's Blind that can have books. There's a backpack and there's the bunkhouses too. But there's a couple places that could have some misclute. 
that could be worth checking out. Let's see how fast this is going now. And we have so many stims. Might as well use them. Just to get to places faster. this pretty much until I get to, to the farm more or less. I'll probably use one more. This is completely pointless, especially like a nice day, nice clear day. But this is basically a challenge now. It's not a survival run anymore. It's a unique circumstance where I'm pretty much just trying to level up the skills as much as possible, as fast as possible really. Not because I want to be the fastest to do it, but because <laughs> I have limited time to get this done. It's uh, The reason I don't stream that often is because I find it hard to find the time to dedicate an evening to do it. But instead I, I record videos because it's a lot more flexible in terms of finding time for that. Uh, but finding the time to get all the skills to level 5 is a little tricky. <laughs> So I am speedrunning it, so to speak. Haven't seen the bear yet. Let's just have a quick look if the bear is around. I don't see the bear. I'm not going to pop another one right now. I'm going to drink a coffee instead. Because... Um, uh, there's wolves and stuff up here. And I would rather uh, be able to uh, hunt those wolves. Without like having a stim in me. Not that many bears. Because uh, I, I don't play that much stalker. I play some but I haven't, I haven't done a long term stalker survival run in a while. And um, I never realized there's so few bears around. Because uh, an interloper there, so they're always the same, it's always the same amount. It might vary a little bit where they spawn in certain regions. Oh, there's the bear. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been looking for a few bears that I just haven't seen. Possibly I just missed them, of course. I'll drink another one so I can get some stamina back. Let's see, can I make this shot, you think? <laughs> I uh, don't think I can. But I can try. He's swaying a lot. Okay, I cannot. It is possible to do it. I've seen people make a shot like that. But uh, it's... It's difficult. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to use the revolver. I do want to use this against the wolves to level it up. Basically drinking coffee to um, stop being heavy. That's what I'm doing. Uh, so I need to drink a bit more. So we're going to keep going. So I'm just using the stim to get there faster. And I might as well drink the coffees, is what they're for. There's usually some wolves here. Yeah, I can see two wolves there. Uh, this cave I don't think has anything in it. I can check though. This is one of those misc caves that... Uh, yeah, it's just around, but it's a bit weird actually that this one doesn't have anything in it, if that's the case. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, it does have stuff. I was going to say, because it's kind of hard to get to actually. Hey, Fire Striker, look at that. It definitely had something. Nobody look at that. Fire Striker. Oh wow, I'm glad I checked this. <laughs> fire Striker and Book. I don't really need the Fire Striker, but. I was going to say, like, uh, this is actually kind of difficult to access because of where it is and there's wolves in the way and it's kind of remote as well. 
<coughs> so, uh, I'm glad there was something in there. Alright, let's deal with these wolves. Let's, uh... Nah, I was gonna say let's level up some carcass housing, but now with, with him right on me. Drink some more coffee, get some more... Back, fatigue back. Is that another wolf? It is. Two more wolves. I got bullets for days. So this is a bad idea, wolfies. You're trapped out here with me. Dun, 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 dun. Have a look here. There's a backpack hit. Yep. Here we go. Nothing. We'll check the bunk houses, then double back. Check over there. Check the collapsed stones. High blind. Uh, that's more or it, I guess. So let's see. We got coal and the line. I'll grab this. It weighs nothing. Open the locker. So this is a great place to forge, seeing as it's outdoors. Could make a torch, but I don't think it's ne necessary. Perfect. Hatchet. Yeah, book. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, then we got wood. Socks. We got... These, I'm not sure we need these. <laughs> Look at that. So much of it. We're kind of good with food already. I think we won't need these. Let's leave them. Kind of warm them up anyway. Up here, do we have anything? This stuff will come in handy. Bullets. Accelerant and that we should don't need. And then the safe. Let's open that. Okay, seven or something. <laughs> A lot of low numbers this time. Seven. Wow, seven and what? Seven and ten. Thirty-one. And we got... Bullets, nothing, and that's it. Wow. Must be some book. <laughs> I'll check out these bunk houses over here. Because there's usually some misclute around them. Not very much, but a little bit. We'll drop some stuff back at Poacher's Camp. That has to do with uh, bullet crafting. Could maybe grab that sapling there. So if you look around carefully here, you might find some smaller things. Cloth will take it, I guess. Uh, it can be like a hammer. Actually, I'm not sure about a hammer, this but... Handy. Found Storm Lantern I found here. Tools. 
Axel. Don't really see anything. Let's grab this, uh... This thing. Then I'm gonna use a energy drink. Run back. So I want to check over there. There's a corpse. Then you can also find a Polaroid. So I'm going to do that. Do I have any more energy drinks? I do. Oh, I'm still heavy. What am I carrying that's heavy then? <clears throat> Not a big deal or anything, but... There are, it's the books. <laughs> the books are heavy. <laughs> a lot of books. Which is great. Grab the feathers. Mending is going to be the boring one. That's going to take forever. Uh, over here there's also some misglued, but not really much. Mostly... Mostly uh, wood and coal, but there is a corpse that can have a couple boxes as well over here that I want to check out. Here, you can also find Storm Lantern, I think. Yeah. Hey, Hexo, cool. I'll take it. We don't need any of that stuff. And here's coal. We don't need that. Uh, where's the bear gone? Tempted to make myself stink just so I can track them better and then level up my hunting skills. So here, let's see, there's usually something here. Uh, here we are. We'll grab the charcoal. Like this. Never know. No, we don't need that. Here's the corpse. I guess we can take that. Feathers. Ah, jerry can, look at that. Oh, that was a jerry can there too. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'm going to check over here because uh, yeah, there's a backpack, or well, there can be a backpack. I think actually next time I kill something I might grab some guts or something because I would think I would like to actually smell because it will make it easier to attract things I can shoot. Looks like a storm is brewing. I don't think this is a blizzard, though. Oh, there's the bear. It's all the way back there, though. <clears throat> there's that. Wow, I did not care about that at all. Actually, he did, kind of. Coming or what? I guess not. Peanut mm. butter. Okay. I'm not sure. It looks like they're kind of scared or something. I don't know. There we go. All right. Come on. Do -do -do -do. Let's grab a couple guts. Zoom. Hey, wolfies. And then we're going to grab uh, some tiny pieces of meat. That didn't do much. Did I even get meat? I didn't, no. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again then. There we go. You do like quarters like that.
There we are, now I stink, look at that. Now the wolves will be coming for me. <laughs> and then they will be getting one in the face. I think I may have forgotten to pick up a cartridge there, but that's alright. This is a bad idea, by the way. Shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but uh, it will help me attract things. I can level up my hunting. Look how much we've been doing in just one day. Because of all the... Coffees and things. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. We have a book. Archery. Nice. Needs this anymore. Very nice. Okay. There's also sometimes a campfire over there. Uh, but I don't think we'll go there. Oi! Instead of back to poachers camp. I should be attracting wolves for miles now, but I think the weather has kind of scared them off. There's a wolf all the way down there, but I think he's having some pathing issues. You can hear them howling. Oh, I smell something. I smell something, not sure what it is. Tasty human. There's a wolf. He smelled me. Ah, here they come, see? Here they come. Basically want to get... Rifle as far up as I can. How far is it? Okay. There they come. Yeah, you smell me, didn't you? Tasty Zack. The problem is, though, that um, it was a trap all along. And you are just, literally just, practice. Sorry about that, Wolfie. Oh. Hello. So, let's get somewhere safe. De -de 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 -de. Oh, ra rather safer. Where did the uh, the bear go? There he is. Hit him at least twice, I think. Down there, yeah. He's gonna run off somewhere. I'm gonna drop some of stuff here. Basically, everything to do with uh, bullet crafting. I'm gonna drop here. Yeah, these that are incomplete. I don't think so. No, I've been drinking so much coffee. Well, that's good. That's exactly why I made so many, and I can make even more. You know, because I got... Uh, <laughs> still can make like 18 more or something. I'm just fr fr frugalously using whatever I want. <clears throat> I'm still heavy, but that's alright. So we're going to drop some stuff. And now we're going to put our casings in here too. Because uh, we're going to use Bleak Inlet as our crafting base. Here we are. So put this here. Uh, well, wait, these two. Okay. And then in here. 
Oh, I see, eh? Uh, here we're also gonna put the shells. They don't weigh much. A half a kilo, a hundred of these, thirty of these. Yeah, it's something. We'll put them in there. I think that's good. And also the charcoal. There we go. So let's put in poachers here, like uh, poachers. One plus three duster thingies. Hundred revolver cases. 30 rifle cases. There was something like 30 charcoal, something like that. So we should be able to make quite a few things. I'm actually not heavy right now. And there's the wolf. Not sure why he got scared, was it just the terrain? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Let's head back to trappers. Oh, the bear is back. Could be fun. a little bit on the buggy path there. Any more wolves around? Grab these things. Guts. That was some harvesting, carcass harvesting. I'm still not cold, so I might actually. Mm. Here comes the wolf. We kind of annihilated all the wildlife in uh, Bleak Inlet here. There's even more wolf somewhere. That's one. I'm not cold, even in this weather. What's going on with you? That's why. I thought there was something. The reason, the only reason he would be stopping like that was because uh, there had to be another wolf around. There's another one. So I might actually harvest these things just to level up harvesting skill a bit. I'll use the stim to get back. There's, there's more wolves, I think, isn't there? Let's uh, let's harvest some of this. I don't actually need any of this stuff. I'm just harvesting it to level up harvesting. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot oh, closer. lovely! Look at that. Sure hey, carcass housing five. How about that? Now, does that mean I can't read this, by the way? Do I have a carcassing one? I do. Can I read this? Can. Okay, sweet. Then let's continue harvesting a bit, then. Uh, just because I leveled up skill doing it, then I killed so much stuff. Go away, wait. I will drop all the heavy ones. Smell. 
No, I don't. Okay. Uh, let's do it with all of these. Did I drop all of them? I didn't mean to drop all of them. Oh. Same here. Uh, here, actually, we can use uh, this. It'll be easier. Literally just doing this to level up carcass harvesting. Not going to cook any of this. I could, but I don't really need to. Drop all of this. I can always cook it later if I need something to cook. I can always come back. I'm not cold or anything, you know. <laughs> Let's, before we go, see also if the. Uh, I can lay down and have a little sleep right here. If the moose is here. I'll do that quickly. Well, that was a productive uh, session there. <laughs> Killed all those wolves, harvested a bunch, went up harvesting skill. But let's just see here quickly. Uh if the moose is here, because this is a moose spawn. It wasn't up by Edge March, March, and it wasn't, wasn't by, I mean, I haven't checked by Bleak Inlet, but it didn't look like it was there. Let's see if it's here. footsteps. I missed them. Let's see, I, another moose markings here? I don't see moose markings, I don't think. I think there isn't one. Yeah. Nah, I would have seen it by now. Okay, let's kill this wolf. Are you... Oh, there's two wolves, eh? They could double tag me. And we must well do the same thing here. Harvest this. Just to level the skill. Just need to close my eyes. There we are. And I'll drop the heavy ones there. Let's drop this one too. Alright. What we're going to do now is do this. Get the revolver out. We're gonna run home. <sighs> you can't see much. That's normal because I can't either. <laughs> it's really dark. But it should lighten up. We're gonna head to Trappers and make some arrows. We're gonna come back here at some point though to make uh, bullets probably. Check out Max on the way. Oh, actually, there's some stuff here to check out too. Uh, forgot about that. We'll check this out another time. But there's not usually books there.
That was uh, quite productive, uh, I might say. You can still go to Coastal Highway and Desolation Point. Black Rock. That's pretty much what's left. are gonna come for me most likely. I could hear there was one not far away. Is that one there? No, it's not one. Let's check out Max. Drink one coffee. Uh, feather. Feather. Even have a hatchet. Usually, Max has a hatchet. All right. Seems like we're in the clear. Let's go make some arrows. There was a run out of food, which I don't think is going to happen. I'll just go out and hunt something. The moose shouldn't be back. It ha hasn't been that long since I killed it. So the moose uh, shouldn't be here. Because I killed the moose relatively early, by like day... Whatever it was, 17. It should respawn faster. But it will still probably take... I don't know, at least 20 days, I think, before it's back. All right, let's sleep and craft. Is there anything needs curing? Yeah, some stuff. I think this here, just immediately drop that and these. Okay, and then we're going to eat. Uh, whatever I can eat, really. Do low condition stuff. Yeah, let's eat that. Things that give less calories. And let's drink this too. I'm gonna sleep not quite uh, full, but until it's daylight. So uh, let's just say five hours. It might not even be that much. And then we're going to start crafting. We don't have the quality tools, I don't think. So it's going to be a bit slower. We have these, though. Yeah, simple tools. That helps. But let's do let's do that. Uh, do I have any more drinks? Yeah, let's have these. And do I have water? It's regular water. Yeah, I have some. All right, so let's see here. We got... Uh, here we are. Cured birch saplings. Grab those. And then we're going to make arrow shafts. All the arrow shafts. Go. There we go. I think we have 16 because I also found one. Yeah. And we save a little time by using the quality tools. I'm just going to go first here, I think. And we level archery doing this too. Yeah, I don't care if I'm thirsty. I'm going to get it back anyway. I think I need to lay down. Just keep crafting until we can't craft anymore. We can maybe do one more. And we can make six more in the morning. Two dark. We went to Archer level two. Without ever firing the bow. Uh, yeah, we'll eat. Uh, these give less calories, so we'll eat these. go and then the water you'll be fine Astrid all right sleep not quite 12 or maybe 10 and then it should be light again and we 
gonna need more birch to uh, make more arrows, but that's all right. If we want to make more arrows, of course. Uh, and then we got this. Craft as many as we want to. There we go. We are fully crafted as far as it can be done. How's our cabin fear risk? A little bit. Uh, let's read something. Maybe read the carcass harvesting or cooking. Uh, we need to first, though, have some food, yeah. So let's just let's eat these things here. Now I'll head back to Pleasant Valley, I think. A drink. Need to make some water soon. Right, I think read these. It's 10 hours though, actually. Uh, in which case, no, we'll read this instead. Four hours, we'll read one at a time. Two hours, this should level us to level four. And then I think we cannot use the books after. Unless they changed it. There we are, so that's done. Rifle level 4! Look at that. <laughs> Damage increased. But now I think I can't read these anymore. Yeah. Can't read them. Research already completed. Oh no, wait. Did I just dump the wrong one? Sorry. Uh, oh no, I read both. Or does it, does it just say that actually? I don't know. Anyway. We can also read this maybe. Start reading it at least. We maybe do one more hour, but then that's it. First, we'll take with us back. Okay, too dark to read. All right, let's uh, let's see. I think we'll just drink the water we have. Deal with the rest of it in the morning. Doesn't matter if we get thirsty. All right, let's uh, sleep for 10 hours, whatever that is. And there we go, it's daylight again. All right, so what's our progression now? It's looking good. Pretty much everything is four or so. We've got a revolver level five, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, these, this should be easy. This is a bit harder. Gunsmithing will get the ice fishing, or just one of those things you gotta just do. Uh, this is getting there. All right, so we're pretty much getting there. But I think that's the end of this video. I think that's long enough. So uh, thank you for tuning in and watching all of that stuff. That was a hunting extravaganza. What I'm gonna do next time is I'm going to leave the revolver behind now because uh, I've done plenty of that. I'm gonna continue using the rifle and then also the bow and also do some more reading of books and look around. I'll probably head back to Pleasant Valley, do some more reading, and maybe even go to Timberwolf Mountain, get that guns, guns book, because I forgot about that, and then uh, keep hunting and then repairing and just reading books, and eventually you're going to have to do fishing and gunsmithing. You can maybe get level 5 in the next video, maybe. I have a suspicion I might need two more videos, but we'll see. In any case, Looking out the window towards the future of this expansion coming and looming. Thank you for tuning in, uh, survivors. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.